Welcome back everybody, it's Hermes Cup time. Thanks for joining us and it's time for the semi-finals. And today we have joining us the bad boy of uh, Hades himself, Alien, good sir. Good to see you, how are you going man? Jared's good, 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 good. How are you my darling? <laughs> I'm good, thank you gorgeous. And um, you're not the only gorgeous thing here, we've also got the largest brain in Hades. That's you. It's Mr. Rist with 13. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, man? The Chad of Hades, I prefer to be known as. I, I, I'm, reason... I'm, I'm jumping brands, okay? Big brain, Chad, like, we can do both. There's nice. a reason why you can only fit his head on his uh, camera at any one point. Yeah, it's true. Um, and I encourage everyone to subscribe to Rist so you get that big brain emote that he's got. Big brain boys. Yeah, I love it. Cool. So what's been happening in Hades in the last fortnight? Um... All sorts of things, you know, um, the Hades, the game subreddit hit 70k, um, wow. folks, that's, that's just growing by like 5 to 10k every fortnight, it's crazy. Um, many world records were broken and broken again. Actually, Hallie and Arista might get you guys to sort of do a little bit of a, a talk down or a rundown of what's been happening with all the world records. It's been wild. Yeah, um, yeah they'd go for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, according to the leaderboard, so world record is held by Webs 2D, who's a fairly new speedrunner to Hades, but he's obviously been doing a great great job. He has a time of 647. I do believe Babylonization is a couple seconds faster, uh, just waiting to get verified. And the record's just been like bounced around like crazy uh, on the leaderboards. Clearly that any percent unseated category is uh, very popular. It's a great place to get started if you're interested in speed running you know you don't need any external programs or anything you just play the game how you want as, as quick as you can record it submit it you're done basically oh so, uh, there was a, a slight rule set change we i guess we should mention uh regarding a certain tech that uh was being used uh utilizing the codex wrist do you want to talk about that yeah yeah, totally. I have uh, everything prepared right here on this piece of paper. Um, That's great. <laughs> so the Codex tech was a little bit controversial when we first found it out. Um, we used it originally to pause the in-game timer while we were waiting for Thanatos to, you know, leave and get out of there. Um, because it paused the timer, but it didn't pause the game. And we found out that we could sort of have other uses for that that would stop the timer but not the game like keeping Zagreus's momentum while walking resulting in uh disgusting displays of time save when, frankly i even almost threw up when i first uh saw Babylon's <laughs> display of it myself i think everyone oh, else did comes. too um i did not unfortunately um the almost through well anyway um, so yeah <laughs> but supergiant has said that they ha will fix it and until then, any uses, even slight uses of Codex Tech in any run is unfortunately uh, banned. It really sucks for anyone who um, uh, who got great times, uh, even just using it once. Uh, Halion, I think you had one of those. You got a really good one. What was it like? Amazing time. Let's not speak the number, but it was. It was like six forty-five or something like that. It is six fifty-three. Six fifty-three. It would have been like pretty close to like finally getting you to be a respectable point on the leaderboard again. Oh. Or... And anyway, too early uh, for this risk. Wait that's until what, the that's race what's go That's what's going on in, uh, <laughs> in Codex world. Yeah, look, and um, it was it was really a tough decision. And um, for folks that were in the speedrun community, were probably waiting to hear about it because it was the talk of the town for I don't know ever since it was discovered. Essentially, and what is it going to mean? Um, do we all have to revert to using you know like Codex dash Codex dash, just to save you know like a bunch of set? That's going to kill the game. So. Um, we, we made the decision uh, based on what's not going to ruin everyone's enjoyment and what is still fair for all. Um, but yeah, I mean, Supergiant did say that they're going to, to like uh, give their best shot at addressing that issue. Um, they've been listening to the feedback and stuff, which is great. Um, uh, for folks that don't know, I mean, if you check the Supergiant Discord, uh, there's a bunch of channels there called uh, Test Branch. There's actually a test uh, branch where Supergiant has an update where people can go on Kind of similar to, to the beta before, right? Where you can test out the new uh, changes that they're offering. You can read the patch notes and um, give feedback on that. So that's encouraged, you know. Um, I can't imagine there'd be too many more updates. What do you guys think, fellas? You know, like it's nearing a 
a complete product where eventually those guys are going to have to say, we're happy with it. We've made a great thing. The world is a better place. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of surprised that they're still going as it is, honestly. I mean, Hades yeah. seems like a pretty good finished product to me. I mean, you could balance forever and ever and ever, right? But yeah, but yeah, I'm glad they're still they're still looking at they're still listening to uh, player feedback and stuff like that. It's really great, I think, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept uh, like a close eye on things for at least the rest of the year. That seems like a nice round place to end. They'll they'll probably stick it out until you know the the, the turn of the year, and by then I imagine they'll probably take their hands off it whether they do dlc or not we still don't really know i mean obviously they have a history of not doing dlc but also this is a different kind of game for them so it yeah it, it's anyone's guess yeah. it's anyone's guess but Maybe, i wouldn't be surprised if we got another couple uh if we shout loud enough special. Hmm. if we shout loud enough maybe we can get some dlc for hades guys right yeah. you show up with yeah. money in suitcases <laughs> tens of dollars yeah, oh, that's what dozens even. I mean, they've already got the passion to create great things, so it's just the other part, which is the money part, to fuel the passion, I guess, or to fuel the people to keep them in jobs so they can remain passionate. But um, look, I think there's a lot of a lot of people agree with what we're saying here, and a lot of people want the deals. But if you want it to happen, you got to make it heard. So go check out the feedback channel on the Supergiant Discord. Um, they read all the feedback. I don't know how they do it. It's wild. Um, and that's part of the reason and part of the formula why it's um, a pretty good game these days. Um, Wait, Drids, can I shout out a couple of uh, yeah. like new upcoming categories? Uh, yes. Oh, no. Yeah. So so there's there's a cool category that Vareem has been running. He's one of the racers. Uh, it's called First Run. Um, it's really cool. It's like Fresh File, except um, there isn't really any like stupid grinding for darkness. Um, it's a little complicated, so anyone who doesn't know what that means, don't worry about it. It just means... Mm -hmm. First run is just starting the game and you don't die and you have to kill Hades. It's really fun. It's challenging. Um, and the other, yeah, first run is amazing. Um, well, I other... guess the whole, it's a huge hype, right, Rist? You know, like if, if when it's a big challenge to get there, but when you first get your first one, you feel like oh, you've yeah, truly sure. achieved something, right? You feel like you're on top of the world. Um, yeah. And and the other, the other category is, of course, the Super Soaker category where you play Lucifer Rail and take Poseidon attack and <laughs> dampen things up a little bit. I have the world record for that one. But it's my only I, world I can't help but notice that Wrist is promoting categories that he's really good at. Meanwhile, he puts down all my made-up categories. I'm still Wait, waiting for you to beat my all-weapons time, Halion. That's all I'm waiting for. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a while. Uh, I'm loving the idea of uh, the less serious categories as well. Super Soaker is a good one. Um, back in the olden days, we did have a few categories like that on speedrun.com, uh, such as die percent. That was in the first part. Did you do that one, Halion? Where it was the fastest to die. You just like drop uh, out of the window and people were doing it in like, ex like less than 10 seconds. A few seconds, yeah. I, I think I, I tried it. I don't think I ever submitted anything. I don't really remember though, honestly, now. But yeah, I remember the die percent was a huge meme for about a week, <laughs> basically. Nice. I like these meme categories. Um, and oh, then there was pet percent. If you guys remember, like the fastest oh, pet yeah, Cerberus. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that one. Yeah. Oh, don't forget that. Pet the dog. I, I had a record in something once. Oh. <laughs> pet percent. Okay. But um, we're gonna bring back if we can. Um, hopefully bring back that onto the speedrun boards as category extensions. Don't know. There's no promises, but um, just looking into that. And um, either way, even if that doesn't happen on speedrun boards, then it wants to stop people from doing it anyway. Just like Super Soaker. Right. I'd like to see some other cool categories too. I was thinking, what do you guys think about this idea? I call it Big Chops. We go World Splitter uh, plus Artemis Attack. No. Just Big Chops. Vito, no, 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 no. Put it. Why? Because you don't want to. You don't want to have a boring no, run. No. No. Come on. You know, Super Soak is okay. not that fast. Okay. Okay. It doesn't have to be fast. It has to be wild. Go for the big crits. What about richest what about, man, richest Zach? What about hoarding slash most gold? That's what I'm saying, boys. Yeah, most gold. There we go. Big stonks. What do you reckon you can get over seven? Oh, well, you've. Oh, here, have a brag, Halion. <laughs> what's what's the world <laughs> record on that? <laughs> you no, know, I, had, I actually had over seven thousand gold in one run. 
Um, Tulios asks, well, I'll show you in a second, um, but this one's actually going to wrist. Um, this is the, this is the Hermes Cup trophy. Um, as you can see, it looks kind of like the center one. That's the Hermes Cup one champion trophy, um, which I have to send over to wrist nice. down there. Coming your way, I'll put it in the mouth soon. Wrist 13. That's you, bud. Uh, George, how late is this trophy? <laughs> yeah, I know it's a, ages late, but um, big shout out to Little Black Cat Art. To, who 3D modeled, created, shaped, made the wooden block, put it all together, painted it with lots of detail, as you can see. Um, she does all sorts of crazy art. She's on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so yeah, check her out. Does lots of lots of things. Um, and a good friend. Um, so now that I've got that, as you can probably see in the background, this way, um, there's actually three more cups for future Hermes Cups. So He's ready, guys. Yeah, you know, we got the finals in a fortnight. Um, and as you can see on the screen there, folks, uh, first prize is $100 American USD dollars. Um, second is 50 and third prize is 25. So this is all from contributions from the people out in the world that support the Hermes Cup. So thank you so much. Um, thank you guys. If you want to, you can donate. The link is on the site there, uh, on the page there, sorry. Um, and the format today and for the cup, this cup is best of three format. That means, you know, it's the first to escape twice is the winner of a best of three. Um, but also we're mixing it up um, from the last cup and there's an aspect draft. So there's eight different aspects, um, which there'll be bands and picks. So that's always a big part of the fun and a big part of the strategy. And, and it kind of a tell too into what the races have been practicing or what they want to just straight up not even bother practicing with. Um, and um, even an opportunity, you know, like for guys to sort of research their opponents say oh you know Vareem's good on nemesis sword he had a world record in that maybe i'll ban Vareem on nemesis sword stuff like that so we'll get to that soon and we'll introduce the races soon i love that part i gotta say i love i love the picks and the bands it's exciting yeah certainly cool hey i just want to show this real quick this is the speedrun.com boards um so, oh no that's not the speedrun.com boards that's the verification a page that is the <laughs> That's and my secret page. Waiting you're not to be allowed verified. to see that. Jerds. All right. A nice peek into the stuff you're not doing right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is how much work us moderators. So you've got Bablo, me, and Vareem doing um, probably the lion's share and ship as well a bit. All of these runs are people who have done a run and we have to sort of check them, make sure there's no cheatsies. They follow the rules. What do you mean sort of? And then... I don't know what I mean. <laughs> and, and hit verify on those puppies. So as you can see, there's a lot. And this is all within, that's today, one day, two days ago. And we got to fix your, you up, Dunko. Sorry about that. But um, <laughs> we need more I'm... guys. We need more runs on the leaderboards. Wrist, wrist if you look, go to like the speedrun.com homepage, we're like pretty, Hades is pretty far up there. It's actually nuts. Yeah, let's I think if you just look at the categories for all games. We're number six. How do you at get the to the homepage of speedrun.com when you just hit browse all games? All That's games. crazy. That's awesome to see. Yeah, look at that. 176 active players. That's really cool. Very, very cool. Beating big names too. But oh, look, all of these are all of these are pretty cool, besides maybe that SpongeBob game. Sorry if you like that. I don't haven't played it. I don't know. <laughs> What's cookie clicker <laughs> clicker? We're getting Why off topic. Why is SpongeBob all of a sudden jerks? I don't know. I, He's a goofy guy. <laughs> I got nothing to say about that. Um, but yes, look, I'm very impressed with how the leaderboards are uh, fleshing out. Look how many runs have been submitted and verified so far. Just, I'm still scrolling. This is insanity. Wow. How long That's has crazy. the game been out now? <laughs> so, so if you have a run you'd like to submit, make sure to submit it in droves right now. Yeah. yeah make sure you say, I want Jerds to verify this run specifically. Um, hey, Rist, I, I don't see you on cam, by the way. Something might have changed there. Uh, oh. So that's the Any Heat category, which is, as you can see, the most popular one. Uh, unseated, which is get in there and go, as long as you show your previous death. Um, there's the Fresh File category. A lot of free real estate here, boys. Free real um, estate, guys. Look at that. And just for Fresh File as a category, different to first run. You can finish it on a first run, or you can die multiple times. It's just the first... Victory is what you're aiming for there. Yep. There is the strategy new. there, right? You, you know, you can 
well, Riss probably knows more about this than me, but essentially you can, if you want to, um, die multiple times and take your darkness uh, back with you, upgrade the mirror to give you a greater chance at success for, for future runs. This is a real-time category. There's the all-weapons category. Got a few runs on there, there lads. Very popular category. 50 heat. For those who... <laughs> oh, I, still have, I still have to submit one. <laughs> you do? Oh, why? The what's, the, what's the time? What time did you get on that? It wasn't good, but it was done. It's I a complete. <laughs> hey, um, I think Talesk got a 54 heat. He's going to submit he that. He actually has... Talesk actually has a 55 heat completed. That's crazy. Ooh. So... That's the highest complete uh, completed heat that I think we've seen so far. Yeah, across right. all patches, even is uh, fifty-five, and it was unseated too, which means that he didn't start with any particular hammer or anything really. So that, that's really awesome to see that he's really pushing that. Yeah, that's very very pro. Much respect. You can put higher heats on there if you want it up there for uh, prosperity. Yeah. So that's the speedrun category. Categories. All right. Well, let's introduce our races today. We gotta have some races. That's why we're. Oh all yeah, here. we have we have a race to do, don't we? Let's do it. All right. Whoa, that graphic. <sighs> Much impressed. Very, very, very nice. wow. Very wow. So our races today are Bablo and Musaeus. Bablo, how are you today, bud? Are you there? Hello. Are you there. streaming? I'm pretty good. Thanks. Excellent. Ah, looks like you're offline, according to the stream. Or is that my screen? Am I? Should be. On... I'll do a refresh. Ah, oh, you're back. Go. You're back, baby. Hey, why Skelly there on the on the bridge? So, what time is it there, Babs? <laughs> I ask this every time, but for the the folks out there that don't know, um, Bablo is representing suffering? from Finland. The time is two twenty-five a.m. Oof. Hopefully, you're not waking anyone up with your wild antics, loud yelling, etc. Um, have you been should practicing be for the race? You should be fine. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, how are you feeling for the race and have you been practicing? Uh, pretty good. Uh, it's been mostly a huge grind for the world record in in-game time, which kind of leads to, well, actually I've been doing it with several weapons, so that's actually a good way to figure out the ins and outs of each weapon. Like, you just know the builds, you know exactly what you want. And then I did a couple of RTA runs just to get into that mindset. So it should be good, feeling good. Nice. And besides um, Hermes Cup prac as well, what are you what are you gonna be grinding out after after this session? After this well, cup today? as I say every time, I need to get into all weapons. I need to do more of that because the timer time could definitely be lower than what it is. But now. you Even hold the world record, Pablo. Well, yeah, but it could be better. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's the mark of a true champion. Don't just get you know satisfied with your. Your success but keep pushing the limits well to be fair there's been like new things we've figured out which should make it uh, a minute or two faster what are your thoughts on the codex tech for folks that don't know bablo is one of the moderators for speedrun.com um thanks for coming on board for that because yeah we needed power to handle all of those submissions and a lot of big decisions to bank but yeah what do you think about codex tech yeah well i think most people are happy to see it gone, and I really want it to be gone. So nobody really wants to do that because it's an it's an every chamber thing too. That's the bur that's the worst thing. If it was something yeah. you do once in a run, nobody would really care. But yeah. it's just something that everyone is is forced to do. And um, we had some sm submission. I actually did a fairly competitive run using the codex, and I didn't even use all the techniques out there and i just got the world record like instantly so we kind of estimated that it's going to save something like 40 to 50 seconds so it's just mandatory to do if we yeah. allow that yeah that's true yep. all right well the right move's been made um we'll have to ensure that that's reflected in the rules as well i'll, I'll fix that up um, on speedrun later but that is on the announcements for speedrun uh discord um for anyone that's interested in speedrunning join the discord uh, the link was on one of the various screens throughout the stream, but um, you can find it, uh, it on the general info page of the reddits uh, of the Hades the Game subreddit. 
Um, easy to find it. I'm sure someone will link in chat if someone's super keen as well. Super friendly community. That's what I love about it. You know, like we got no a-holes in the community. As far as I know, everyone wants to help each other out. I mean, I mean, Jerds, you got, you got, you know, just, just saying. <laughs> oh, you mean? Okay, I understand. Yeah, let's not talk to. We'll talk later. <laughs> he's I. What? He's I. Duh. That's why <laughs> he's here. Nothing. Museum <laughs> Seven. How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Good. Do we have to say the seven at the end of your name? Nah, the seven's there because I couldn't get Museus. <laughs> So did you try the strategy of just, you're just going to message <laughs> the guy that has Museus or girl and then say, hey, no, nah. revoke, no, give actually, me your password. Uh, I actually messaged Twitch and I was like, hey, this person doesn't stream. Please just give me the name. And they were like, we can't do that. <sighs> Ouch. Bugger. I wanted to do the same for Jerds. Some rando has Jerds. The funny thing is I actually think I have Jerds, but then I lost the username password details and i can't verify it because i used fake details for anonymous <laughs> <laughs> classic it's probably gone forever anyways so museus how's your practice regime been leading up into today's event uh it's been all right i've been trying to do like an all weapons here and there otherwise just doing a couple of offline runs um just trying out each of the weapons it hasn't been as intense as in previous rounds but it's been enough practice i think to put in a good show Excellent. that sounds good um you got any strategies you want to reveal before we get into this into this race the first of the semifinals uh not that i can think of just <laughs> everybody's been doing all weapons with the same pool basically so yeah they're all fairly standard strategies i'm not a big labber i tend to stick to the tried and true rip triple a <laughs> already fell as well it's time to draft so let's get it cracking um because the way that we've got and we'll change how the seating works for the next um cup um in fact i just want to reveal what i want to do only the top four position holders which will be babalu museus vareem and dunko that you see racing today will hold seeds and going to the next cup um, and then that way, um, it's kind of a, a fairer, um, I guess, platform, which is something we've kind of been talking a little bit about in um, Hermes Cup chat um, with the, the existing runners. Because um, we're also going to have to revisit, I guess, who is the higher and lower seed. I just want to make sure that um, it's kind of uh, more random and fair for everyone overall, so no one feels like they're disadvantaged. Um, but for now, because Museus is actually um, was a, a top four contender last um Hermes Cup again you're top four so that's super consistent by the way well done um that means you're considered to be the higher seed and Bablo actually gets the first ban choice today for this semi-final race so Bablo what do you want to ban buddy I'm going to ban a very surprising Nemesis Sword a Nemesis Sword rip, rip Nemesis I'm shocked the other part of this is you have to kind of tell us why <laughs> oh, for starters, I'm not very good at Nemesis Sword. I guess I'm okay, but it's not my strength. And I would probably just lose to Museis every time. Because Museis is it's like his number one weapon, so there's like double reason to ban it. Yeah, that sounds good. Museis, did you actually practice much Nemesis Sword leading up to today? No, I kind of expected it to be banned. Oh, nice. <laughs> These are the strats, and I'm so I love it. Love he's it. been talking it up for weeks, but he so he knew Bablo would hear word of it. <laughs> well, I sure hope nobody bans Nemesis Sword. <laughs> or will I do? <laughs> All right, Mister 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 Seven, what do you want to ban? What choice next? Um, I'm gonna ban the other sword, Poseidon, because. Bablo no has put up some disgusting times on that weapon. Yeah, that's as good as a reason as any to ban that. Okay. That leads us into the pick. Bablo, what would you like to pick for the first run today? Let's go with something I think we haven't seen yet. Although, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. But it's going to be Chaos Shield. Ooh. Oh. 
Nice. Saw that one coming. Let's figure out if it's good or not. I was praying if it wouldn't. If it's ultra happen. nerfed, like people say. Yeah, hey. I think this is the first time we've seen Chaos Shield in the Hermes Cup uh, this round, at least. Well, this is. I know what Bablo's doing because I've I saw you your um your YouTube video of Chaos Shield recently. And oh snap! Yeah, it you actually produced a really good time. I thought. Um, showing that Chaos Shield isn't as terrible as some people might think it might be. Um, so, grats on that time. I th well, I think we can say it now. It's not going to reveal anything. That was an 8.04, wasn't it, IGT? It's a spicy I time. 8.15. 8.15? Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. Well, that leads us to Museus for the uh, second race pick. What's it going to be, buddy? Um, I'll take Achilles Spear. Okay. It's one of Babylon's stronger weapons, but it's also my second strongest weapon, I think. Nice, and nice. I like Achilles. Strong. It I think Achilles is a really cool and fun aspect. It's definitely I think one of the higher skill ceiling ones that we have here. It's just very difficult to play optimally, I think. Uh so it's definitely takes a lot of technique and skill to do it well. Yeah, that's true. And um, I mean, you have to be good with the weapon. So like Musea said, you know, um, to be able to win with it, right? So yeah, if that's your second best, you got to do it. You got to skill out. What was, your, what was your first best, Musea? I'm curious. Was it Nim? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a joke, Chris? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> yes. Tell the Absolutely. viewers. Absolutely. Tell the viewers. And why I, uh, is it Harris? I play basically exclusively sword for the first 300 hours that I played this game. <laughs> yeah, but for anyone who knows you, Museus, I don't think this Achilles spear pick was any surprise. <laughs> I think this is a. Uh, we all saw this one coming. Um, all right, so um, we got third ban on the way, Bablo. What would we ban if we were Bablo? Oh, right, there's more. Yeah. Um, one more pick because the race might go to three races. Um, it's a BO3. That's true. I've never been there yet. No, no one in the Hermes um, Cup has yet. So. Listen, Babel, I have power, okay? Like, I, I can... <laughs> no, he I doesn't. I don't have power. <laughs> well, if you let me finish, <laughs> let's ban Demeter Fists. Ooh. Why is that? Is it because yeah. we don't respect Merciful End anymore as a community? No, I don't say well, that. Well, there's like no extra trickery to um, Demeter Fists. It's a weapon that um, pretty much anyone who has played all weapons kind of know how to do. And there isn't too much I could do to get an advantage, I feel like. Yeah. Um, if just, you know, if uh, Demeter Fist was being raced, uh, would you feel like you'd have to go Merciful End on it? Well, pretty much you have to try to go Merciful End because I, I've tried other, other stuff on it too. But I still feel like starting with Doom Attack is the best thing to do, and you might just, you know, get Merciful End while you're there. Yeah, and then there's the second component of that, you know, how reliably and how quickly can you get that? Like, what do you think about the consistency and, and uh, the RNG element and trying to pull up a Merciful End in a semi-final yeah. space? Um, it's pretty chaotic. It's already quite bad in in all weapons runs and even in game time record runs because you just um you can either get it in um chamber four or you just find it very late usually it's around late asphodel or early elysium or something like that that's my experience at least fair enough fair enough hey special shout out to uh pinal on the stream there who was one of the donators for the prize pool which will go towards the next hermes cup so thank you mister um okay it's ban time. Banter? Banter time? Either way, I'm happy. Musaeus, what's going to be the final ban today? So, I've been really torn trying to decide which one I'm going to ban because I really wanted to like try to force Eris to get played. But I know that if I don't ban Haribo, then Bablo's going to pick Haribo. But I also really don't want to play Gilgamesh. Um, Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. But everybody seems to want Gilgamesh to be played, so I'm going to ban Haribo and leave Bablo to choose between Eris and Gilgamesh. Right, Here we go. Done. I trust Bablo will make the correct choice, and the, truly the only choice that we have here, I think, now. I know what's good for the show. 
<laughs> what about what's good yeah, for get winning? Wish. Oh, he's chosen it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> this is great. All right. I was hoping for the bait and switch, but. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Come on, Gilgi. Good old. Oh, God. Gilgi? You can't call it Gilgi. If I can't call it Gilgo, you can't call it Gilgi. <laughs> <laughs> Gilgi is more acceptable than than Gilgo, but <laughs> Sir, only a little Sir bit. Sir Meshi. All right. Well, um, I'm I'm desperate to see Gilgamesh get um, get more love in the next patch, so that it's more playable and uh, more competitive. So, um, just looking at the test branch notes, um, I think that was in there, right? I think they uh, looked at, at Gilgamesh and um, basically yep. uh, try to address. Yep. Um, I guess the import of the dash special, which is how you activate the main um, special function for Gilgamesh. So maybe that'll make it a bit better to play. Um, and hopefully that stays in going into live. We'll see. It all depends on everyone's feedback. So again, go and uh, join the uh, feedback channel on the official Supergiant Discord and uh, give feedback because it's important to improving the game. But besides all that, we've got a race on our hands, fellas. So we're starting with the first race in this best of three is going to be Aspect of Chaos. That's going to be, this is juicy. Um, second race is going to be Achilles, and if we get to the third, it's going to be Gilgi. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a third race one of these days. I know. It's always been a 2-0 sweep um, in this Hermes yep. Cup number two, so uh, let's mix it up, fellas. Um, let's see some good performances. Wish each other luck, and uh, maybe just pop on over to the mirror and let's have a look at your, your settings um, for this first race, which is Chaos. Oops. Just it does look like screen. my uh, stream is frozen on your screen. I don't know whether that's my stream being busted or... It's normal Hermes thing. Cup stuff. It's... what I, yeah, I need, actually need to buy two more monitors to be able to do this perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> you um, need at least six monitors, right? Mm, well, I have to buy a new video card anyway, since Cyberpunk 2077 is next month. Oh, Not snap. that we should be talking about other games, but... and there's, too much hype for that game, but it's probably going to be pretty good. And I want to enjoy it, so I'm going to buy a new video card. So I'm probably going to buy one with like five inputs for five monitors, so I can have a full production oh stream for Hermes Cup. I'll be like that guy in the center of the universe with all the screens. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk mirrors. Bablo, you got running Stygian Soul here, I see, um, and Shadow Presence, which is different to Musaeus's Fiery Presence. Why the, why the um, Shadow versus Fiery? You tell me. <laughs> um, Chaos, well, you're going to hit them from behind, obviously, with your AoE yeah. Chaos attacks. My this guess is, is that Bablo's praying for charged shot and wants the backstabs from charged shot, whereas I don't trust the hammer to show up. So I'm just going to go with Fiery just because I already don't like the way that Chaos feels. <laughs> Might as well give it a little bit more damage. Hmm, interesting. Um, of course, the mechanic being, you know, when you do a uh, a, a bull rush, um, then you can release up to five, I think it is, additional shields on the special. Um, so obviously all of those are not going to be able to take advantage of fiery presence either or anything like that. So, um, hmm, interesting, interesting. So besides that, the other difference that I can see is we've got a change between God's Pride and God's Legacy. Um, Why'd you go with um, God's Pride there, Bablo? I like epic boons. Yeah. Nice they actually there make a difference with um, some stuff you usually get on Chaos Shield. You know, like I the love the special. consistency of the epic boons that you get there. Sorry, go ahead. Um, sorry, did I cut out? Uh, so, oh, sorry, yeah. I cut you off. Some, some, of the, some of the boons you get on Chaos Shield are actually like they, they kind of care about the rarity a lot. And it does feel like you can sort of luck out and find the duo boons anyways. Hmm, okay. Eventually, at least. Interesting perspective. Just a preference. All right, all right. Well, let's um, go over to the prep room, grab your web soon, and uh, make sure you got the right keepsake. And then over to the pact, and we'll get started. See oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, we can't get started because we've got to choose the, the start. <laughs> You're forgetting something. Jared always forgets about the seeds. 
Yeah, it's it's my clean mind. Yeah. I just want to clean race, Belaz. Hey, Wrist. Yo, yo. Um, well, after you've given the seeds, can you uh, do a bit of a hype introduction for these races? I probably forgot that. Uh, what do you mean hype introduction? We already know who they are. Yeah, but you got didn't you have uh, like a cool way to introduce these folks? <laughs> I knew you would ruin this somehow, Jerds. It's over. I'm saying you can do it at the start of the race, is what I'm saying, if you want to. I'll, I'll hit up, mute. Let's bring up the seed selector. I'm hitting and mute. Get this show on the road. <laughs> oh, are, are, we, are we ready? Yeah, they both have the screen I'm up, ready, so yeah. ready for you. Yeah, okay. Oh, he said we were muted. I don't, I don't know what's going no, on. No, no, I said I'm muted. So Here's your seed, y'all. You're running it. I just got so confused. The seed is 401-324. This is the mini game. Isaiah can... wins the race of yeah. Techie and the seed. <laughs> that's it. So that's one Maybe we should give him those hands. seconds. Uh, that's him, right? Yeah. I'm seeing no forced overtime from Museus. He's not he's not feeling dangerous today, I guess. Even with the shield at his honest. side. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I suck at landing chaos shield. <laughs> also, Bablo requests a text countdown. All right, I'll uh, deliver the text countdown as Risk counts us down with cool introductions for these races as we start the first of the best of three in the Mumis Cup two semifinals. Go ahead. All right. Racers, on go. In three, two, one, go. W what happened to zero wrist? I'm so confused now. Well, you can't nobody, change it. It's go time, Nobody maybe. wants zero. All right, get me off the screen here. I'm sick of looking at myself. I need my magnifying glasses. There we go. Wow. Oh, my God graphics get him both racers starting out with zeus's keepsake here i think we're going to see a lot of uh zeus specialing around here with chaos shield you know i would not be surprised so we i didn't reveal it i don't know if anyone saw bablo's uh youtube video before when he was on chaos shield and got the eight minute 15 but he used zeus special on that one so he's probably hoping for uh similar success well, Zeus Special has been a standby on Chaos Shield, and ever since they changed it with 1.0, and for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Chaos Shield used to sort of fan out in a sort of like star around uh, Zagreus instead of the cone that we see now. Um, yeah, and for a while, slapped. yeah, it, it did. Uh, maybe, some would argue too much. Um, and for a while, we weren't sure what was good on it. Um, but I think we're settling back into Zeus. Zeus was the mainstay, and now we're sort of like, rediscovering that, you know, this is probably the optimal uh, god to go with here. So Musaeus picking up a pretty big charge shot hammer upgrade uh, there. That's going to be pretty good, pretty good for him. I mean, that's just an amazing hammer upgrade for pretty much any shield right here. So you're going to see lots of chunky attack hits from him. He's probably going to want to try to grab some kind of attack boon at some point here. Interestingly, Babo turned down an epic call from Zeus and just grabbed Jolted instead. I don't think it's wrong, but it's. I think I do think it's an interesting choice. Well, I mean, ever since we ha we've gotten the, uh, or rather, ever since we've discovered how powerful uh, Hades' uh, keepsake is, Sigil of the, Sigil of the Dead, um, leaving that call slot open, I think, is expected to give us more damage uh, more often. Mm. Uh, so instead of risking selling it later, I think it's safer to just uh, take that. At least that's what I think the thinking is. And Jolted certainly does a lot of work with that damage, you know. Um... I mean, especially the faster on your forced overtime, I guess. Um, but, you know, like it keeps, and it's for safety and keeps you healthier as well. Keeps you in that high confidence range if you're running that. Um, just because, you know, um, anything that's in the red and doesn't have armor that's jolting is essentially self stunning. So. No, yeah, I will say there's a Bablo. Sad day. <laughs> I'll say there's a, there's a slight Ooh. bit of. Oh my God. Can you believe oh, it's splitting bolt already for Museus? Oh, good lord. Looking strong here. The first race here for Museus. Getting hype. Wow. 
He just yeah, got he does have Zeus splitting bolt. legendary by like chamber eight in Tartarus here. That is craziness. Pretty much unheard of. Although Bablo did find a native um, Poseidon, so it's not as good as Splitting Bolt, but they are all getting things that they want, it seems. Mm -hmm. He's just looking for a solid start here. He goes straight from a fountain room into the shop um, after picking up that Splitting Bolt. So uh, it'll be real interesting to see what the differential is at the end of this first biome. Thanatos makes his first appearance for the day. It's going to make that Splitting Bolt do some work. In case you guys don't know, the legendary from Zeus, Splitting Bolt, in inflicts an extra 40 damage lightning bolt for every lightning effect you're already doing. So it's really just amazing with a rapid fire hit like uh, from Chaos Shield here. Yeah, uh, and we can talk time. about how dreadful this Than is for uh, for Museus as well. Yeah. But, uh, there's, uh, you're seeing all those thugs spawn, the, the fellows with the large clubs. Um, those are limited to, uh, I think, three at a time in a room. So you only see, ever see three of them on, in a room at once and they're not worth very much, which means that in order to complete the encounter, you have, you have to spawn like dozens of them. You can already see, like he's, uh, Museus has killed 46 enemies in this room yep. alone, uh, which just eats it a, a sweep in a stand form there. There should be some sort of special to reward zero. for that, because that's, that can be hard work to do, so. Ooh, skipping the Poseidon on the uh, free left door there, that's actually, I don't know. I think I think he'd want to go for that splash dash. Splash dash has really made a lot of headway in the speed running scene lately, where uh, you just see it in so many different runs right now. Yeah, that's true. Might have been know. a slight oversight on his part. He probably just uh, had in mind the shop, maybe money, maybe health, or something like that. Of course, when you're running uh, Zeus, you know, um, and you get that splash dash, uh, that does combo out into the duo. Um, sea Storm, which provides just so much additional damage when you're dashing all over your enemies there. Um, but anyway, so Bablo finishing the biome first. With Bablo here, but it's mostly thanks to that Thanatos for, Muse for Museus there, I'd say. Yeah, absolutely. That was a kind of a long room too. Um, so if Bablo does get a Than room, um, it might be longer. I guess it depends when it happens and how strong he is at the time. But um, and I I will say there, uh, Bablo did make a very interesting, uh, at least to me, uh, pack decision where, and anyone who hasn't watched his stream probably wouldn't know this, but in some of his practice runs, he was actually running without uh, Extreme Measures 2. So the uh -huh. Fury fight would be, uh, I guess, vanilla, no other Furies. Uh, and the reason for that is a little complicated, but basically anything that bounces in the game, like shields, will try to target things that the game recognizes as in the game, even if they're not there. So in the uh, Extreme Measures 1 Fury fight, uh, those shields will just be bouncing to the invisible Furies, and it's really frustrating. Uh, but it looks like he ended up going with that one this time around. Mm. Interesting. That's, that one's been debated for quite a long time now, whether that Extreme Measures 2 actually saves time or not. I've been on the fence for a long time, but I ended up just falling in line a little bit, honestly. And it's really only a consideration with Chaos Shield, since the if you lose your shield and like and your shield is bouncing around the room, you can't do anything. It's just left you forever. So as they entered um, Asphodel, there was pretty much a around about a thirty second differential. So it's still very early days here in the first race. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to have a look at. It sounds like the stream's having uh, some frame rate issues. Uh, for some folks, give some feedback in the chat and let us know how it's going for everyone, if that's okay. Looks all right um, from our side of the fence, so that's that's interesting. Trying to get that splash dash. Museus does pick up a common splash dash. He'll take it. He'll take anything at this point. Grabbing hypersprint there. Hypersprint's pretty nice, too. One of the great things of grabbing that Poseidon boon is that um, he grabbed it in the shop, but the mini boss had already been determined, so he was going to get a second Poseidon no matter what here. Thus, hopefully giving him greater odds of seeing sea storm here and and one great side effect of um of babylo being able to pick up a natural poseidon in tartarus is actually that he's able to go uh hades keepsake you can see that he has that right now yep. whereas uh Uzeus, who uh, either forgot or just didn't notice the the natural poseidon opposite the final shop door uh, he has to take Poseidon's keepsake which means he's missing out on the extra damage that uh sigil of the dead uh offers him so being able to take that early is not only does it deal extra damage, it also opens up uh, billowing strength 
uh, which is a call, which is a boon from Zeus, which gives you extra damage for a period so of time good. after you uh, use your call. Yeah, really good. And since Sigil, the, Sigil of the Dead is a, uh, it, it gives you a full call, a call meter whenever, uh, whenever you enter a room, it's just always up. So it, uh, Babel did wind up getting that Thanatos pretty late into Asphodel there, but it looks like it wasn't quite enough to help Museus catch up here. Museus still has a, one more room to clear here in Asphodel while Babel is fighting off Lernia already here. Babel's got a really nice build. He was able to grab an epic double strike to help his Zeus special out even more. Double strike is such an amazing boon, really. It's really good. I mean, you literally have a chance to double your lightning strikes, and it doesn't even matter that Museus has uh, Zeus Legendary right now. Um, as as I said before, they they both were getting things that they wanted, and even though uh, even though Museus does have that Legendary, it looks like Babel's build is a little more complete. Babel still has the option to still get the Legendary at this point too, and you, I mean, I guess you might as well. Really, he already has Jolted Healer, he already has Double Strike. Not much else he's really looking for here. I wasn't able to catch if he grabs Sea Storm yet or not, though. I don't think he did, um, but uh, if in any case, uh, I, wh whether he has it or not, I'm not even sure if he needs it at this point. Um, he's he's got everything, and the as is sort of shown by the fact that he's taking uh, God's Pride uh, instead of uh, God's Legacy, uh, foregoing the Duoboon chance. Uh, sea Storm is just kind of nice, but it's not necessary. It's not something no. that you're going for super, super hard. So not getting it isn't the end of the world for him. That's true. I mean, uh, you're right. Since he did choose God's pride, it's kind of like not really something you want to try too hard for, you know, spending rolls cost RTA time. It's a, it's a real time sink to roll those boons over and over again. He has, he still has all of his rolls on him actually right now. Let's see if he spends any for this Hermes, but he's got that extra dash there. He just, he snags it pretty easy pick there. Whenever you see the extra dash. Yeah, he was probably maybe hoping for hyper sprints uh, to uh, open up rush delivery later. Um, although I don't know, actually can't remember if he found any Hermes boons uh, previous. Um, but in any case, uh, the the extra dash with the Poseidon dash uh, and a potential sea storm if he finds it and or has it uh, will be a welcome addition to his build. Hmm. We've seen a lot more talk about the hyper sprint into rush delivery combo from Hermes here. So, oh, there's that charge shot that uh, we were talking about earlier there. So mm -hmm. now both runners actually have charge shot. Very powerful hammer upgrade here. Increases your attack uh, damage output quite a bit. And uh, Babel actually already has an attack boon just from just a comment from Athena, but can actually make a decent difference here. I think one of the biggest things, though, is that that charge shot with the, sh with the shield attack here will penetrate the shields from the guys in Elysium as well as Theseus. So that's that's kind of big in a little in a few ways there. It is, and uh, we, we're sort of getting a uh, a callback to the very beginning of this race, where uh, where Museus mentioned that uh, charge shot would benefit from shadow presence from the mirror, uh, but he didn't have faith, and now he's sort of eating that uh, the flat damage scaling with the backstab damage. Uh, I'm I'm sure that's something he's missing right now. He's eating that pie very thoroughly right now. I think to wrist. He's eating the pie he baked, Alien. It's true. Now, what's your what's your favorite pie? Would you say, Rist? Uh, definitely humble pie. I am probably the least braggadocious individual you've ever heard of. This uh, sounds like the most true statement I've ever heard out of your mouth, actually. Indeed, and an even true statement. Both getting an unlucky mini boss. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, unfortunately, the uh... oh, lightning phoenix. Oh. oh the flex the flex pick there from Bablo lightning phalanx has been gotten folks into the patty room there i really I hope we get to see some phalanxing pick. i mean it's i mean bablo has uh is is like mildly known for favoring uh just throwing athena cast into any of his uh his builds if he runs into her well, and I'm, lightning I'm... phalanx lightning phalanx does work especially on the on the heroes fights having something to bounce between Oh my god, look at the bounces. I love it. It's just correct.
Uh, Jared, they're telling us that uh, no audio now. There we go, folks. Can you hear us? Should be good. <laughs> Are you um, back? <laughs> Amazing. I'm pretty sure uh, they could have heard you. It's just that you guys weren't talking. <laughs> It was me that was muted. It's okay. So Bablo here, uh, going to be finishing up a hero's fight pretty quickly as both oh my melt God. within seconds. He's doing great. Look at his time now. 13 something. That is an amazing time, actually. It's uh, it's actually crazy to see Chaos Shields kind of doing this now, I think. Um, but yeah, Bablo, pretty demanding lead here. There might be some some kind of chance for Museus to pick it up at this point, but it's gonna be it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Uh, I think uh, Musaeus' goose is cooked on this one. Uh, e even with his early uh, early luck with the uh, Zeus legendary, I'm not sure if there's any way he's gonna he's gonna come back from this one. I, um, I'm I'm a believer. I believe in all possible outcomes here. Risk. You never. Well, know. I guess it is possible. Bablo could fall spontaneously into some kind of coma and uh, forfeit the race uh, automatically, but. Uh, short of that, I mean, but maybe the timer in Bablo's oven will go off for the goose that he's cooking or something like that, and he'll have to tend to that. Um, that's true. Maybe he did leave his clothes in the oven. Um, but <laughs> what? <laughs> so what I want to know is why is it bad to have your goose cooked? I mean, unless you have I, it as a I, pet. I prefer my meat cooked mostly. I'm just gonna say. If it's your uh, that is a question to which I have uh, no real answer. You're uh, the one that used the term risk, so we're expecting you to explain it to us. Listen, just because I know things doesn't mean I know things. <laughs> we're we're going <laughs> to stop putting this responsibility on little old me. <laughs> is it, uh, you, uh, I'll have a guess. Is it to do with, you know, how there's the legend of the goose that drops the golden egg, lays the golden egg, but if you cook the goose, it can no longer lay gold eggs? I literally can't answer that question. <laughs> you could answer the question you're choosing not to. With theory craft in here. Now, I think I feel like it would be a poor choice to cook that goose though cuz you you got those golden eggs coming in, you know? That that just be a poor choice. Exactly right. Prefer yeah, a golden goodbye egg. Goodbye to those uh Oh, Nuclear Cron has the answer for us possibly in chat there. Your goose is cooked came in from the death of Janhus, a uh, Czech priest in the early 14th century. His name resembled the Czech word husa, which means goose, and he was burnt for some religious reason. Therefore, his goose was cooked, so to speak. Okay. This was not the fairy tale I was picturing when yeah, the term was said. I thought it was more of a fairy tale <laughs> thing. All right, and as as we were saying, yeah, Bablo basically has... <laughs> is at Hades right now. <laughs> he is in Hades, a biome ahead. Um, but unfortunately, and this is sort of. Uh, if anyone knows, uh, I I banned Chaos Shield last uh, uh, last Hermes Cup. It did not help me, of course, because I lost to Bablo. But this is one of the reasons why, even even in its older version, or, or rather, especially in its older version, Bablo was sort of a Chaos Shield pioneer, where he was putting up crazy times with Chaos Shield. Well, we were all uh, hemming and hawing about. Uh, how slow it was and uh he put those sorts of things to rest and i don't think any of us have really thought to uh to challenge him directly on that and i think we're sort of seeing uh, the reason why uh, it's just a weapon he understands really well and uh hopefully uh anyone else who's watching can learn something at least from this run uh uh watching bablo, bablo although is as a uh, showing he's a beast right now go ahead yeah Although, as Vareem has said, um, the correct way of uh, going quickly with Chaos Shield is to get double strike, and I'm pretty sure uh, Bablo has that. So, oh yeah, he's got that going on. He knows the secrets. Now, the the real question is: Is he going to get that fish in the top right there? I would be flabbergasted uh, if he failed to make that very simple, easy gamer move. We'll find out. Oh, Will it look, be a perfect style? 1722, that is an amazing time. Wow. Great job to Bablo in this race. Mm -hmm, for sure. Definitely showing us how it's done with uh, Chaos Shield. Well done indeed. Museus also with still a pretty uh, respectable and fast time. Um, unfortunately, tough to beat Bablo. Bablo, the Beasto? Yeah, we need a nickname. Hey, Bab Rist, I heard you had good <laughs> nicknames for these guys. Yeah, uh, I do, them. but I don't have one for Bablo because he needs no nickname. He's Bablo. Whoa. 
when your name risk what, what are so you uh babbling about <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> this is I my know. favorite i guess room i guess whenever, scene, whenever you see bablo uh you're, you're thinking and damn like He's Bablo News. <laughs> oh my god. I'm ending it. That was my oh, favorite room please. in Steve. So you I thought mine this. was bad, but good lord. Bablo that caught was... a trout, by the but way. Even Bablo's out of there. He's he's leaving. He's gonna go smell yeah, the flowers. Done. Yeah. I mean hopefully he did not have his stream live uh uh with the audio playing as I said that. So uh time will tell if uh his wrath will come my way. It's just a matter of time. I'm sure pretty much all the races probably review their run. Watch this Watch the VOD at least. I couldn't bear to watch the footage of myself. I mean, most people good. can't, Salian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So uh, of ourselves, not of you. What were you thinking? Oh, gotcha. I mean, it, it, it's true either way. <laughs> good Lord. I love it. So Musea is entering the Hades fight now. Um, looks like he'll just be clocking the time of um, just over 20 minutes real time here. Probably be around. We'll there. probably hit around 21 minutes yeah. uh, for the mm. final time. Yeah. And we're also sort of seeing why Chaos Shield is so frustrating for some people. It there's, and and I wish I had the wisdom to say what exactly makes Chaos Shield go fast. Um, it has not been uh, necessarily broken down by Bablo uh, for. For me or anyone else uh, as of yet maybe he will uh be generous enough to do so after the uh hermes cup is over um oh, I'm gonna keeping ask those him trade secrets to himself in indeed and i would not blame him well it's a good idea to keep your competitive advantage when there's 100 usd dollars on the line for the final he's saying 100 finals. usd dollars are yeah, you doing that on purpose okay. no they're um there's the usd american dollars aren't they yeah, yeah. what are the, what do they call them in australia aud australian um i thought maybe they called them didgeridoos. Dollars. Dollars. <laughs> that's an <laughs> instrument you mean not didgeridoos. <laughs> 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 um some supermarkets do call them dollary dues usually in relation to their sales that was pitch. <laughs> It was a dollar do like a long wind instrument that's also made of money? Money. Yes. Blow into it. Sometimes money comes out. He's asked halfway there, through phase two here of the Hades fight. There are too many jokes I want to make right now, but I agree to keep Please this stop. mostly PG. <laughs> so. PG, PLZ. I think You'll just have... actually for the respect of everyone here. Folks at home will have to imagine what amazing wordplay can come out of didgeridoo. That's true. Yeah, leave it to the minds of those out there, and then they will amuse themselves. So Musea is finishing with a RT real time um, time of twenty one minutes and seven seconds. Very respectable run. So that's a twelve oh six IDT. Pretty good for Chaos Shield on most people's standards, I have to say. I'm, I'm not going to mince words here. That's a really slow time, and he knows it, and he feels really bad. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that kind of sucked. <laughs> wow. Well, why don't you tell us about the run, Ms. Ass? Because you had a pretty scorcher-looking start with that early splitting bolt. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I apologize for any road noise, by the way. Um, it was a good start, and then I missed the Poseidon coming out of Tartarus, so I didn't get Splash Dash which kind of hurt. Um, and then also just didn't play amazing and then got Chamber 12, <laughs> Naked Thug, Thanatos. It was overall a uh, sketchy run, but I at least didn't die, so there's that. Yeah, we did notice um, that... Uh, the fact that you did not believe in the uh, the shadow presence came back to bite you as you got a uh, as you got shot. shot. Really. <laughs> and and also, and I don't know if you you noticed or if you had something else on your mind, but we also well, I think we all spotted that you uh, you missed a free Poseidon out out of Tartarus. Um, he just that said that you... risk. You weren't oh, listening what? to him again. Oh yeah, excuse me. <laughs> How bad? That's all right. You missed a Poseidon yeah. out of Tartarus music. <laughs> yeah, I saw, the, uh, it's rubbing in. I saw it as I was walking through the door, and I was like, how could I do this? 
think you have an emote specifically for that, right? So beyond that, is there anything you would have changed with the run? Um, what what would what would you do different if you could rerun it again with the knowledge that you have now? Um, take the Poseidon, and then okay. I didn't put an attack boon on the entire time, which kind of sucked. It would have been nice to have something on there, but I just I wasted a lot of rerolls trying to get Splitting Bolt, which ended up. I'm kind of on uh, Bablo's train of thought now where <laughs> like Splitting Bolt basically what brought me up to Bablo's starting damage between the common and epic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely so something like... to be said there. So Bablo, would you say that um, getting more epic boons across your run paid off overall? According to your mirror selection? Actually, I'm not sure if I got too many that run. At least the special to start with, yeah. Mm. But after that, not too many. But I'll say that splitting bolt isn't like necessary to have good damage. There's a lot of good boons just in general, like the tier two ones from Zeus and Poseidon. Stuff like breaking wave and Joel, that they end up doing a lot of damage. What else do you think um, would you attribute to the success of Iran besides raw power? I need some tips here, Bablo. Come on. Yeah, give th the world needs to know how to be good and good with Chaos Shield. I need a lot of help. Get charged shut. <laughs> Don't miss the Poseidon in Potters. <laughs> I guess that's one. All right. Well, that uh, means that we're, uh, ba you know, we're one race down, um, Bablo being one game up in this best of three here for the first of the two semifinals uh, races that we've got for you today. Uh, going into the second race is Aspect of Achilles. So Babs and Museus, why don't you head on over to the mirror if you've got any uh, changes you want to make there. And uh, let's get this show on the road. My stream appears to be frozen again on your right. screen. Well, that's interesting it was working before but uh this might be yeah that's it i think that's a trick that i've got with running like uh 14 different web windows close <laughs> all your weird tabs for stock <laughs> exchanges okay turds yeah you mean true. stonk exchange stonk exchange <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to just trust that Tesla is going to go up. This is not a recommendation. Do not oh, yeah. follow my recommendations. Do not buy a Tesla unless you want to, and then buy a Tesla. Okay. Now that we're clear and even on that, don't do stocks. <laughs> but if you want to, you can do <laughs> you stocks. Just don't do them. Yeah, it's up to you. But don't do how them. Many, how many didgeridoos do you recommend investing into Tesla? <laughs> As many, well, I use American USD, American dollars. Am American United States USD currency from America, you say? Yes. Okay. It is it's the juiciest of currencies that I know of. Um anyway, we we need to talk mirror. Okay, uh, sorry. Got to <laughs> So we've got uh similar selections with the God Pride versus God's Legacy um between the two races again. Same uh, thing, yeah. Um, the only difference, um, or the only change from last race, looking like Shadow Presence is on both runners' menus today. All right. Yeah, there's also a uh, distinct lack of high confidence going on for both racers, it looks like. I, I, I happen to notice that, too. I didn't want to call him out. I was waiting for you to do it for me, Wrist. Yeah, well, I mean, and, and they can talk about it, but um, as someone who does a lot of uh, uh, all weapons, so I end up playing Achilles... Um, it's not it's not terribly uncommon. Um, is there any specific reasons why you guys are going for uh, a thick skin, the extra 50 health over the high confidence? I will take thick skin in every single race ever. Uh -huh. <gasps> high confident, confidence is overrated. You take in chaos gates anyways. When is it done? Yeah. Usually okay. never. Uh, sometimes, uh, like if you like, I know for Beowulf, uh, having the plus twenty five percent hits a, a nice break point, but that's an awfully specific and, and niche reason. Yeah, but you often don't get 25 percent. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. You kind of end up losing it most of the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's a fair 
first method of attack. All right, so the mirror is selected. Um, head on over, choose your relevant uh, starting keepsake, uh, if you please, as we start with Achilles. And we see here Mark. Mark the plant on Halion's screen there. Even Halion's Mark like, dressed up for the occasion tonight, George. That's great. What a cool guy yeah. wearing the sunnies. Yeah, he he's says, got those sunzos on. He's, he looks better than Riss tonight, I think, actually. <laughs> Just deal with it, Riss. I mean, it didn't take much, but... That's that's true. Uh, he just had to show up. Riss wearing his best um, <laughs> job interview shirt for today's stream. Thank you for that. Yeah. All right, I have a seed ready for y'all. It looks like y'all ready. So your number is 108310. And uh, Halion, I don't feel like counting down. Can you count down from four, please? Oh, no, why? No reason. Why that? Why that number? You know, numbers are hard for me, right, Wrist? I I do. Uh, I just want to see you do it. Looks like the race is <laughs> already. All right, guys. Uh, Babalu, you ready? Okay, he's he probably ready. He's, he, he, he does the text yeah. countdown. Okay, and I assume he's mm. already. All right, boys. In four, three, two, one, go. All right. Slight delay there from Babel. He's just about a second behind, but it's really nothing. Babel's actually taking forced overtime here, 20%. So that could possibly give him uh, an edge in the enemy spawns here. Yeah, it definitely will. But uh, Achilles Spear and, and and the sort of thing I was going for, um, at least for me, when 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 I was putting out the thick skin versus um, high confidence, is that Achilles Spear is really scary. Um, we tend to take a lot of damage, and we tend to. It's not uncommon for us to die on uh, Achilles Spear. So turning off first over time, at least for Museus. Uh, I don't know about Bablo. Um, Obviously, he has forced over time uh, uh, one turn on, but. Big Serrated Point I'm, grab from yeah. Musea 7 there. Uh, Serrated Point could be pretty good. I, I missed what uh, Babel actually picked, but it looks like they're on the same path still, luckily. The test well, whatever it is, it's not any of the uh, the Cardinal Hammers. Uh, Serrated Point is one of them, and of course, uh, Flurry Jab is uh, is the other desirable hammer that we're looking for. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Serrated Point being quite strong, um, even representing at high heat back uh, before version 1.0. Um, so I was kind of surprised to see it on the test branch. Um, maybe they're, they're just super giant considering the idea of reducing the, the dash penalty on that. I thought it was kind of strong as it is. So we'll see how we go on that. Got Serrated Point. Probably looking for an attack boon here to help mitigate some of the damage. Got, getting nothing. Babel's thinking about this one. Ends up just taking Wave of Despair. Museus, Meanwhile, oh, Museus is able to pick up uh, an attack boon. Entering the uh, Doomstone. Oh, sorry, the... What do you call that guy again? <laughs> that is, that's the Doomstone. You had it. You had it, honey. Had it, yeah, Doomstone. Well, yeah, it looks like Babel worried, does right? have straight point. So, because so I look we're at both him. on even footing. They're both on a very even room so far, too, yeah. um, up until now. I'm just, I do not feel scared at all when I see the Doomstone. I'm like, this guy's kind of friendly and yeah. easy. He, he dies He's kind of like cool, actually. Like, I'd hang out with the Doomstone, I think. Well, it's a good fight, could that's for sure. rename him to Dude Stone or something like that? <laughs> oh, he could be the Dude Stone, couldn't he? That's lovely, actually. <laughs> oh my god, both runners just took After Party in the same room somehow. <laughs> that means, I don't know if you guys know this, but for every point of health that after party restores, they each have to do one push up. Mm. I just made up this rule on the spot, but I, I'm going to demand it. Well, right. I think that if you make it up, uh, you should have to eat the consequences. So for every point that after party heals for them, you have to add to your push up counter. No, uh, so any of Alien's mods are in chat, uh, you just can't, keep track you of can't you can't just add push-ups to my counter willy-nilly over here, Wrist. Well, I can't, but your mods can, so I'm deferring to them for in, in this uh, particular... Luckily, they're both slumbering in their cots in the shack <laughs> out back, so uh, 
<laughs> they get cots? <laughs> well, you just get the space under the desk, I know, but... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is a race. Yeah, it is a race. One chaos each for these guys so far. Looks like Babel's ever so slightly ahead, but really not by much. Very similar here. Some cast damage from Museus, but he opts for that dash strike instead. Mm -hmm. Well, he's already got the uh, the hunter's dash from uh, from Artemis, so it may be that he's pushing for a more attack based build. It's one of the weird things about Achilles is that you can kind of go cast centric or attack centric depending on what the game offers you. So he may mm. try to push in that direction. He's starting his fight as Babla just finishes. We've still got a tight race on our hands here. Look at that surrender point doing some beefy ja really, damage Really there. coming in for him, yeah. Yeah. And that's he also got that Artemis dash attack uh, damage there to up it even more. It is definitely a dangerous build uh, with Achilles. Like they said, they both have thick skin on. And if you got serrated point and you don't have any Athena around, then it's probably pretty wise then. I'm liking it so far. We're looking about a 22 second differential as we enter the next biome here for both races. I like that tech purchase there, Briseis there picking up the extra companion keepsake. Pretty cheap for the damage that you get, I guess. Hmm. Well, you always yeah. want to see at least one of those in a run. Yeah, ideally. I mean, it's something that's kind of come up a little bit more, and I guess it gets easier the more you do it. You just kind of have an instinct of how many you need each time and stuff like that. By the end of Asphodel, you know that you just want exactly four. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth pointing out that uh, Museus does not have any palms in his... Uh, in his cast, and he's choosing not to palm his cast, actually, so... He's going full in on uh, Serrated Point up? here, huh? Yeah, well, my call-out is appeared to be right on point. He is trying to focus a little more on his, uh... <laughs> on Serrated Point, more like. Uh, he is going for... He's going fully into his attacks, uh, it looks like, and and not even giving a second look to his cast, uh, as opposed to Bablo, who has a handful of palms into his cast, so... yeah. We'll see uh, for whom this pays its dividends. Hmm. Babylon, right. Will the stock? Who will the stonks pay out for? What are the stonks that he's looking for? He did choose the Poseidon Keepsake coming into this, so what will he get? He's Re definitely looking for that splash dash. Oh no! Now they're rolling hard. I gotta for get it. it. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. So he's gonna have to settle. Yeah, let's see it. At least he gets the Eurydice say, room. He's paying off in some quick rooms there. Best mini boss into Eurydice, so that's going to be nice for him at least. And one unfortunate thing about Achilles' spear is that uh, it does, if you go fully into the casts, um, it does tend to fall off a little bit late game, unless you get some major cast support, or, and this is what people will usually do, uh, supplement their damage with hammers or attack boons or what have you. Uh, neither of which, well, he does have the hammer, but without the attack boon, it'll it'll start to feel pretty weak in Elysium. The rooms will be sluggish. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So he's kind of going full in on the cast, whereas Museus is kind of switching over into an attack uh, build a little bit more. We'll see, though. He's got this Aphrodite. Ends up grabbing common from uh, Aphrodite for Bablo there to help out with that serrated point damage a little bit. So that might work out. Although it is worth noting that Museus does have flurry cast from hermes so Ooh. he is giving his cast some consideration uh but uh clearly not the palm consideration so and we will see how that works out for him Pablo already at the uh, end of boss fight for asphodel running all the way into the magma for a second there just to pick up that single cast placing a lot of value on that this is uh probably that where it comes in where I was complaining that uh, Achilles is very difficult to play uh, at optimally here because you got to use that Zeus cast, right? Electric shot, and they bounce yeah. like crazy. They they go into very unpredictable places sometimes, and really gotta you gotta work really hard to track them and know where they are and go get them and stuff like that. Very difficult to play. So props to these guys for being able to do it so well. And it's yeah. actually a very close race here. It almost looks like Museus might have been able to pick up a tiny bit of time here. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Probably anyone's race at this point. Some of it will come down to RNG. Makes me wonder, um, 
And I think Babla even played a little bit with Poseidon Cast as an alternative to, to Zeus Cast. We'll have to ask him about it later. What do you guys think about that as a, you know, when going for a cast build as a potential option versus Zeus, right? Electric Shot. We've given it some labbing and while it does have its benefits, it also has a major downside of being a little slow. So uh, I'm not sure if we'll be making the, the full switch, but it does need some more time. Uh, and yeah, maybe we'll see some of that in the future. Yeah. Diablo in the first Elysium chamber now. Ooh, epic nice. flurry cast. Picking up that nice flurry cast. Grab. It's going to be a nice grab. Although flurry Back cast does have, uh, have the weird downside of making it even harder to keep track of those casts. Yep. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just want to throw out one, but with the epic, it's actually kind of hard to only throw out one. You just end up throwing out two or three by accident. Mm, requires a lot of control to... Not hold. It's, you're talking milliseconds of how long you hold down that button as to how many you cast, right? So, mm. very high skill. I respect. Uh, I'm sure Jerds at least remembers. Flurry cast used to be an even higher percentage at Epic. Was it eighty percent, ninety percent? I can't really remember now, but it was much higher at one point. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yep. I'm glad that they kind of, uh, I guess, brought that more into line because it was kind of. I'm wild. not. It was fun. <laughs> Power is fun. That's why people abuse power in the world. And we are seeing also the other major consideration for taking uh, God's Pride over God's Legacy, which is uh, the rarity on Hermes Boons, which are actually reduced for Hermes specifically. You are less likely to get an epic Hermes Boon uh, than you are to get an epic other, other, any other kind of boon, any other regular God oh, wow. Boon. So uh, getting that boost, boosted rarity... And especially the way, um, with, with the way Hermes Boons scale with rarity, uh, that consideration in and of itself alone is a strong argument for God's legacy and, or for God's pride. And we're sort of seeing that uh, again paying out with uh, with Bablo's epic flurry cast. Hmm. Ooh, nice room here for Museus after picking up 50% extra cast damage from a well there. Really nice. Oh, Thanatos for Bablo. This could actually be a bit of a reversal here, depending on how long that takes. Museus was a good chunk behind, but this could be one way he could catch up. Absolutely. We'll see how fast he takes out the Minotaur compared to Bablo just before. Bablo had an all right room. Um, I'd probably say the DPS potential. I don't know how to do it. It seems a little bit faster to me in terms of time, but... We're talking within seconds, so. Mm. Oh, man, with that extra cast damage from Museus, I mean, those casts have to be hitting pretty hard right now. It's, it's a 50% increase, which I always thought was a little insane for just a simple well item. And only 20 gold, too. <laughs> yeah, it's so cheap. Like, why? if you have any cast boon, really, it's like, why wouldn't I ever buy this? Let's see what Artemis brings. Pressure points selected there for Museus. I don't um, think... I don't think either racer has quick reload, which is usually a big want from Hermes there for these runs. Quick reload allows you to get your cast sooner out of enemies. It makes it drop significantly faster there. Very, very, very necessary for Achilles because it's not like Hera, which has the innate faster dropping time. Although it is worth pointing out that they do have supplemental damage uh, through their true, attacks. True. So the quick reload, while still nice, isn't as necessary. So they're still feeling okay without it, I think. That Thanatos for Museus, evening up that scoreboard for Thanatos, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. oh, and then the Fountain Room for Bablo in the last room of Elysium here. Just grabbing the Epic Boon. Didn't really care about what it was, I'm sure, that much. But, whew, oh boy, brutal uh, brutal showcase by Thanatos today. Yeah, and Museus sort of finding himself uh, a similar distance behind uh, now as he was last race. Uh, about three rooms behind. Well, we got to freeze up on Museus's screen, but in the meantime, we got Babylon fighting down the heroes here. It looks like did Theseus block the Meg? I've had that trouble too myself uh, recently. It's probably just my own fault, but what can you do? I think it's. I think it has something to do with how you displace him if you hit him with something from Poseidon. I've I've known it to happen with Splash Dash, but uh, so so maybe he tagged him with his. Uh, with his special and cause something to happen. 
Hmm. We're seeing a lot of this Hades keepsake coming into use nowadays. What is going on with the Minotaur right there? <laughs> Doing a jog in place for us while he just waits to die, I guess. Oh my goodness. Well, the Theseus Minotaur fight has has uh, not been known for being bug free. So uh, this is 1.0, Riss. What are you talking about? 1.0 means a bug free game. I thought that's true. It is released totally complete, no bugs, no downsides. 100%. Quick the grab from the Museus load. there. There you go, yeah. I always prefer to think of it as an intentional lore decision, story decision by Supergiant, where every now and then the Minotaur actually panics and just runs on the spot. Doesn't know what to <laughs> do. He knows he's going to die. Ripped with panic. Yeah. Uh, the Minotaur is a character known for his uh, uh, being temperamental and uh, <laughs> unpredictable in terms of his emotions. Missing the Meg. Oh, wait, did he hit did he both? Wait, did he hit both? I think he somehow did. magically did, despite the error in placement. <laughs> he yeah. messed it up, and he succeeded. This is what I... That's, yeah, I was going to say, that's what I, I like to call pulled a wrist there, basically. <laughs> is that when you don't try, but still succeed? It's when you try your hardest, fail at it, but luck turns around for you anyway. <laughs> oh, and buddy. that's the story of the first Hermes Cup, but we're not here to talk about that. <laughs> we're here to talk about... <laughs> Isaiah's coming out of Elysium sub-15, which is still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, really good times by both there. guys here. Ooh, what do we got here, boys? Babloids. We can splitting bolt there. Gotta be splitting bolt. Wow. Wow. I mean, he, he just has that Poseidon special, so Sea Storm isn't really going to do a whole lot there, but still, love to see those green and orange boons flashing up there. Absolutely. Unfortunately, neither of those awesome boons will do much for him. Uh, Bablo also having the presence of mind to hold his meg. If, if anyone didn't see, he did not meg at the large satyr because he only has one left and he wants to save that for true. Hades. Very true. I guess it's an interesting decision, you know, if you've only got one meg left and you're pr probably not going to get to buy another. Well, you might in one of the stick shops, who knows? But, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if using the meg on Hades, like Hades is a pretty simple low risk fight, right? But if it helps you clear a tiny vermin room or something, I'd probably, if I had to choose between tiny vermin and Hades, I'd probably use it on tiny vermin. What do you guys, what would you guys do? It's tough. I think I think it's a little bit easier to guarantee the hit on Hades nowadays. You just like phase one as soon as the fight starts, throw Meg out there. Can't really fail it. Whereas I think Tiny Vermin requires a little bit more timing and effort to try to make sure she lands. More of a gamble, but shortening that fight, it's got to be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, definitely. I think there is uh, some definite questionability if you should really ever bother using a. Uh, Meg on the mini bosses and sticks that aren't tiny vermin, because usually by the time you get to those mini bosses, you're so powerful that those fights are going to go super fast anyway. And especially if it's an RTA category, it's a, I think it's slightly questionable. It depends, obviously. Well, Babylon bursting out when Hades barely st took two steps forward, Meg hitting, um, cast hitting, and everything instantly, almost instantly phasing. Um, a good ode to the amount of damage that he can output here. Again, faced. This is going to be a fast Hades fight. Bablo probably kicking himself a little. And speaking of the tiny vermin, there he is up in Museus. Speaking of that uh, tiny vermin, th pulling the Meg out there. I think she missed, though, <laughs> for Museus. There you go, proving when the it point rains, you were just making. Mm. So there's your answer. Usually the best time to use Meg on tiny vermin is when he's uh, yelling for the other rats to come join him. Uh, yeah, although yeah. sometimes he doesn't do that move. So it's kind of a gamble either way. Ready, cool, and use here for Bablo to increase that damage for a couple of seconds. Yeah. Nice chunks going down. I'll say Bablo's probably kicking himself a little bit for not taking Sea Storm because now that he has Splash Dash, uh, he actually would get some benefit from it uh, as mm -hmm. opposed to Zeus Legendary, which will do around not very much damage for him. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere near not that much damage. A countable amount of damage. Museus having to go through another tunnel here. That'll be his third and final till he gets the sack. His second three sack of of the of the race, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunate. Whereas Bablo did get two on each, so a little bit of time advantage there. 
By the way, congratulations to Babo. 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 <laughs> who's uh, Babo. finished off Achilles there. 18.02 is the real time hey. attack. Good time by Babo. Well done. Splitting bolt on the screen. Musea is still up, making his way through sticks here. He should have the sack any second. There, there it is. is. Man, just an un unlucky set of rooms for him there with the tiny vermin and stuff. Going for oh, the tech oh, across oh, to the shot. Oh, he's trying. Oh. <laughs> I respect it, though. He almost had it the first time, and I was about to get... And I was going to be extremely impressed, actually. I'd never seen anyone do that before. I've done it a few times. Right, I don't watch your stream for reasons, Wrist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for the folks that might be wondering, can you actually uh, throw that Achilles Spear and go behind Cerberus to get straight to the doors? Well, even if you could... Uh, I mean, LO, LMNMP did a Mythbuster on this. Um, the doors won't open anyway, so you kind of have to interact with Serb. Would have been a cool trick, though, if possible. Oh, uh, that would have been cool. And no server skip for us. No. Do the codex with you. Make having a squeak. It's, it's time to be used, she says. Well, companion. Really nice to rate a point usage here. Yeah. Good control, you know. You have to really position correctly to, to hit with those triples. I'm sure these guys are looking forward to that little bit of a dash distance buff that will hopefully come back for it soon from that test branch on Hades there. Yeah, it'll be interesting because, uh, you know, it'll definitely change how you have to play it. Um, and actually, in a way... It means you can overshoot if you're too close to your target, I guess, if you dash into or beyond your target. Um, so positioning will be more important, but, you know, it'll be a speedier thing overall just because you're, you're dashing everywhere for speed. Reversing distance. Eating a Death Defiance there does take up real time, unfortunately. Ever since they, they increased... To have that um, death defines to be like you know seven sound effects and a billion animations. Yeah. Um, feels bad in an RTA. Definitely and something you want to avoid uh, to some degree there, but great, great finish by Museus. Twenty forty three is a very respectable time with the uh, Achilles spear, I think. I'd be happy. Well done. Um, and that does mean that um, we do have the winner of Bablo winning 2-0 in the first semi-final that we have for you today. Uh, the next one being Vareen versus Dunko. So after the emission, intermission, don't go away. Please come back and watch even more hot <laughs> racing action. Don't go yeah, do away, not leave, please. please. We do have a whole other set go. of races. But, but I know yeah. that sometimes. Big congrats I... to Bablo. Hats off to Museus. Great show, yeah, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just feeling guilty because sometimes an intermission can be long for some viewers. But anyway, let's get the races back in on chat. And let's talk about how that went. Uh, Museus, how you going, buddy? Help us through the run there for, for you. So the run was not great. Um, I don't know what ex like what specifically other than not being able to get Artemis on my attack. I tried to roll for special when I first got Aphrodite because I really hate having Aphrodite on attack because it just ends up not being enough damage. Um, couldn't get it. And then just kind of played sloppy after that. So I was at least hoping for a sub 20, but I don't know. It went all right overall, I guess. I mean, with the vermin and the Thanatos and everything, it's understandable, I'd say. Definitely was not was not luck on your side there for that. Yeah. It looked like at one point you sort of gave up on the casts. I noticed in, I think it was Asphodel, you chose to palm your attack over your cast. Was that deliberate, or was that just you missing the cast? Um, it was a little bit of both. It was me not noticing the cast until too late, but not being mm. upset about it, because I had dash strike and serrated point, um, which, like, it's enough damage that the cast will like keep up for room clear, but not great for boss damage. So I figured I might as well lean into the attack a little bit because that's like I've had runs where I get greater recall and like epic quick reload, and they still 
suffer during boss damage if you don't at least do something for your attack. So I think this run I kind of went a little too heavily into keeping the attack relevant. And then yeah, the cast it's hard balance. Set. Yeah. Alrighty, well that's um that's how that one went down. And then Bablo, how do you think your run went there with Achilles Spear? Well, considering everything, um pretty okay. I was actually surprised it was eighteen oh two. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit higher than that. But I guess I got some pretty lucky fountain rooms and stuff to offset the mostly just um bad rerolls on some boons. Just Used all my keys and didn't really get anything. But yeah, all in all, still okay. Okay time. Well, the purple flurry uh, flurry cast was uh, was a nice pickup. I think you got that. Was it in Elysium or was it in Asphodel? It was Elysium. It was pretty late at yeah. that point, it felt, I think. No quick reload. I don't think Babel ever got that quick reload, actually. Yeah, I didn't. I was really hoping for more for that. Some stats on the screen for you there, folks. So, yeah, um, three satire sack tunnels there for Musaeus. Satyr? Double satire? three sacks. Satire sack, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Bablo, <laughs> striking a lucky there with two and two. Um, but overall, you know, them the stats. We Katie's fights there. Okay. So with that, folks, um, well, Musaeus, You've reached top four again. We will see you in the bracket. Uh, you know, you continue on for the third uh, place match. So you're still in it for the money, buddy. Uh, so we'll be seeing you in a fortnight. What, yep. what, what's going to be your practice regime and um, any shout outs or plugs you want to do? Um, I'll probably try to be getting back into all weapons. It's kind of fallen by the wayside recently. I did a bunch of any heat grinding when everybody started doing that. Um, briefly held world record before it got taken away, but luckily it was during the Codex Tech fiasco, so mm -hmm. I got to hold the position <laughs> illegitimately for about a week. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just start doing all weapons again and streaming over... Halion already posted the link, Musea7 at Twitch. Um, but that's about it. Excellent. Good to have you on. We'll see you in a fortnight and, you know, on chat and all sorts of things up until then. Bablo, congratulations on the win. You will be going through to the finals for the big dollars. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So we'll see you in a fortnight as well. But until then, uh, what's on the cards for Bablo? Where can people see you and any shout-outs you want to give? Um, yeah, I might just be streaming. Not really sure when and on what schedule, but I definitely have to be practicing extra hard for these finals because it's not going to be an easy one, for sure. And yeah, I want to be on point, so there's going to be more RTA stuff. Probably all weapons grinding. And specific weapons like Gilgamesh and stuff, so we'll see. Pretty excited for the finals. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be if, good. if anyone's ever interested in joining up in racing, these guys often have uh, races or at least ask around to see if anyone wants to just do a casual race uh, in some downtime here. Just join that uh, to, uh, Haiti Speedrun Discord, and uh, there's a racing channel there that you can just say, like, hey, does anyone want to race this day, this time, something like that? And oftentimes you'll find someone that's uh, willing to come along with you. I actually forgot to mention that tomorrow between 1 and 2, we're going to be doing an all weapons race um anybody's welcome to join it'll be using racetime.gg and then on sunday we'll be doing super soaker races and other meme categories around the same time nice so be sure to join the speedrun discord uh you, the link to get to that is there on the page there as i show the bracket and um yeah check out the want to race channel where a lot of that talk to arrange those things happens has linked it in chat for you as that's the bracket there as we see Bablo pushing through to the finals um it's been been hard runs for a lot of folks you know um everyone at this point is a pro coming up next we've got Dunko versus Vareem so don't go away and we'll be seeing you soon uh please hold for around about a 10 minute intermission
for a while it was, you know, Big Brain. Now I'm thinking more, you know, the Chad of Hades. Um, these are all acceptable to me. So just, just, just go with whatever. I think the viewers are not surprised by these nicknames we should be giving you. The <laughs> Big Brain's cool. Um, I know I've struggled and I have to apologize in the past with um, trying to find the right nickname for you. But I have seen at the end of some of your videos that you are the Iron Wrist. It's so. true. Uh, I have embraced the Iron Fist somewhat, but it's only ironic, I promise. <laughs> All right. And uh, Mr. Halion, good sir. Yes. What's your preferred nickname? What should the community refer to you as when it's not Halion? And let's keep um. it PG. <laughs> Right. It's a good thing you said that there right at the end. Yeah. Um, yeah. I gotta say, uh, you can just call me Vanilla Dan. Vanilla Dan? Is that because your favorite ice cream is vanilla? Uh, yeah, th that's why. <laughs> All right, that's nice. That's a lovely thing. And he's pretty vanilla. <laughs> yeah, in his um, in his commentary. Complexion, and exactly. Right. Oh, right. I <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. So we've got a couple of races coming up for you. Um, these guys are battling to get to the to the finals next fortnight. Everyone you see today will be racing next fortnight as well, but it's just a matter of who's going for first and second, third and no money. Um, but all of these races, they they get glory and honor and I respect that. Um, so Riz, who we got coming up today? Yeah, uh, this is actually probably one of the most uh, hotly anticipated races uh, thus far, I think. Uh, in fact, I think it would be appropriate to uh, compare our racers to the uh, original speedrunner, Moses from the Bible, who, as we all know, holds the world record for crossing the Red Sea on foot and is famous for that famous phrase he said to the Pharaoh when he said, Pharaoh, let my people go fast. Although oh. fans of Moses will be sad to learn that he lost his speedrunning touch later in his career when he took 40 years to cross an entire desert. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> now, while Halion is definitely in his desert crossing phase of his career, uh, our upcoming racers <laughs> still have a long way to go uh, before they reach that uh, inevitable downfall. Uh, our first racer for this wonderful race is Vareem, the creamy speedy dream. Uh, known for his <laughs> record smashing speeds, his innovations as a player, and also known for his handsome face. And then we have Dunko what? the Hunko, known for his funny voices, the fact that he wears glasses, and his <laughs> rippling muscles. He's also a pretty fast gamer too, having briefly held the Any Heat world record. Uh, so yeah, we can uh, start with uh, Vareem. Uh, how does it feel to have made it this far after overcoming the tremendous obstacle of either winning or losing to Halion in your last race? <laughs> uh, I deeply regret being here, Riss. <laughs> <laughs> and with that the show has ended <laughs> uh, we're done we're good no, we're not done wait i've got to clean up the aspect pool because we're going to do a draft soon but no it's a legitimate question how are you feeling Vareem? i'm feeling all right i got some dinner in me which is nice uh it's a nice change of pace from the usual hermes cup where i'm starving by the end so can't complain okay very good very good and uh, we also have with us um, Rippling Muscle Dunko. Dunko? You ready Look, to I slam feel like Dunko? That, What's going on? I, I feel like that moniker is about as far away from reality as possible, but I'll accept it. Um, <laughs> it's not much. I uh, didn't sleep very well last night, but I'm going to leverage that, leverage the delirious energy plus the amount of caffeine that I've shoved into my body in the last you know hour and a half to uh try and beat vareem mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay well what i want to know is what have you guys been doing to earn your chance at winning this semi-final what practice have you been putting in how confident do you feel in let's start off with um the speedy cream dream uh you know i was so there was obviously the any heat world record hunt that um the vast majority of the community was a part of uh like a week ago or so. Um, so I put in a lot of in-game time on Eris Rail, and I know a lot of people did. Um, and doing that kind of made me realize how helpful that was as practice for other weapons too. Uh, you get to know the ins and outs of a build a lot better when you take it slow. And uh, and then you can make those decisions a little bit faster when you go real time. So 
I did a little bit of that with uh, each of the other weapons. Not as much as I probably should have, but, um, you know, decent enough. Good enough practice. Reem has been burning the Midnight Oil with getting his practice in. Um, hopefully that comes to an epic conclusion here today. Dunker, what's your prac been like? What's your prac been like, Mac? Extraordinarily intense. <laughs> so, fun fact... <laughs> Uh, Vareem is the first speedrunner I ever saw play this game and uh, is definitely going to be the toughest race I've ever had in my life. And so for that, I went I went pretty all out. I've redu I went instead of doing the like any heat grinding that a lot of the community has been doing, I basically said, hey, I don't really have time to be focusing on just one weapon right now. I got to make all of them good. So I focused on all weapons and I uh, pushed my all weapons time down to one hour and 51 minutes. So uh, which is, I think, third in the world now, yeah. um, just behind Vareem and Bablo. So um, I've really been grinding every single weapon that's a, a, a part of the, the cup and doing it five days a week, actually seven days a week. Let's wow. be real. Um, <laughs> to try and to try and stand a chance against somebody who has literally triple my playtime in the game so yeah apprentice versus the master now right huh will the apprentice surpass the master we'll find out soon <laughs> all Dear right God. well we got to do the draft um folks Folks and doggies. So with that, um, Vareem does come into this um, as the higher seed with his uh, position from the Hermes Cup uh, number one. That's how we're running this Hermes Cup. Meaning that Dunko actually gets to choose the first ban today in the aspect draft. So what would that be? What do you want to ban, Dunko? What do you want to slam? Well, Dunko? <clears throat> So I've looked at all the weapons in this pool and I've looked at both Vareem and my times on these weapons. And I tried to go in agnostic, even though a lot of people were saying, oh, ban Nemesis sword. And I determined that the only weapon that I guaranteed cannot beat Vareem on is Haribo. So I'm banning Haribo. Hey. I get a good... It uh, makes me sad. <laughs> I love, see, here's the thing. I love Haribo. I've learned to love this weapon. This is a stark contrast to me at the, you know, first round versus Jawless Paul, banning it out instantly because I hate it. You know, hated it. Now, I love Haribo. I think it's one of the, like, I, it's the most fun bow aspect for sure. And one of my favorite uh, aspects, I'm just not as good at it as he is. So. Okay, that's fair enough reasoning. And with that, Vareem, uh, what are you going to, Ban, and is this going to be an off-the-cuff decision, or is there a strategy? Uh, there's not a whole lot of strategy. I didn't do uh, the excellent opponent research like Dunko did, because <laughs> absolutely I was going to pick Haribo today. Uh, <laughs> so well done. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I think I'll probably ban... I'll ban Chaos Shield, because I just don't want to play it. <laughs> That's a real good reason. Not feeling it. Why? Play it. It's good. In a world of many options. I would just like to point out that Gilgamesh is still an option to pick, guys. Just want to point that out for uh, mm -hmm. both racers here. Very important. Well, Duncan, keep that in mind. you've been asked to pick Gilgamesh specifically by Halion, bad boy. So what, what do you actually want to pick? And why is um... Gilgamesh? Let it be known that I will never do anything that Halion tells me to do. <laughs> so yeah, I've right. already made that decision a while back. Mm -hmm. So uh, instead, I am going to pick <clears throat> Poseidon Sword. Dunko has learned well. What a, you know, like when you pull out a Poseidon Sword and say, hey, I'm going to beat. You're suggesting you can beat Vareem with Poseidon Sword. That's a bold statement. That requires Very a large. large um, yeah, Halion, if you even had this. half of my intelligence, you would have reverse Uno carded him and said, ha, don't uh, pick Gilgamesh. And then mm -hmm. he's just, he's, he's screwed. 
You're right. I did kind of set myself up for a catch 22 there now, didn't I? I revert. I revert this statement. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I'll do what Halion says, but only if it suits me. <laughs> I think that's the best way to go through life and with anyone's advice, <laughs> really. So having said that, Vareem, uh, what would you like the second race race to be? Gilgamesh. <laughs> I heard him say Gilgamesh, so it, it is Gilgamesh there. My name's Vareem, and I'd love to pick the aspect of Gilgamesh because it's my favorite. <laughs> Gilgamesh. I guess that's what it's called now. And we're Gilgamesh, that yeah, you, that's Vareem. what I heard. Great great pick, Vareem. Nice, there it is on the screen, number hmm. two. So, you know, this is an interesting matchup. I think I think there's been a lot of talk leading up to this event about how uh, our me and Dunko have very similar uh, preferences when it comes to weapons. And I'm looking at all of these, and... They're all weapons that both of us would love to play, um, with the exception of Aspect of Gilgamesh. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, that being said, let's let's go Aspect of Demeter. That'll be fun. Aspect of Demeter? All right, the two does move Oh, there. man, you were so Ooh. close, Vareem. It, you know, you were just needed to choose the one right below there. We would have been mm. there. All right. And that takes us to our next two bands, um, and then into what will probably be a third race. I'm I'm hoping for finally any you know for the whole Hermes Cup. It's been two O sweeps. I think we got a chance here today, Belaz. So right, baby, boys. what are we banning? Question for Dunko. Okay, so this is a bit of hot race ban <clears throat> pick ban strategy for the rest of you. If you like three out of four aspects in the pool, you can ban the only one that you don't like <laughs> to make it so that you can always get a selection of good aspects. So I'm picking aspect of Gil or I'm banning aspect of Gilgamesh. No, <laughs> he almost said it right. He wanted to pick it. It's in his heart of hearts, but then he his brain he took did. Over. Yeah. Okay. How how many didgeridoos can we pay him to change his mind? How much can I sell a didgeridoo for in the open market? <laughs> uh, I'll have to do a conversion for you, and then I'll get back to you. Sad day. Sad, sad day. Gilgamesh, rest in pieces. Ray What's a didgeridoo to didgeridoo dollar conversion? Yeah, that's, that's a good, good question. These are questions I should know off the top of my head, but I don't. <laughs> what kind of Aussie are you? I know. I'm a faker. I didgeridoo don't know. Three <laughs> <laughs> wins. Sorry, Dunko. That's a two-zero sweep, and we're done. Uh, yeah. Oh my yep. god! I'm didgeridoo dead. <laughs> wrist. With See, now, it's, now it's wrist versus Vareem. <laughs> like I'm right, out. So it's it's my... wrist versus Vareem now. <laughs> so, so it's my ban. Yes. It's your ban, <laughs> What's in the ban, Vareem? <clears throat> um, I think. I think I'd like to continue to shake it up. If you make it to weapon number three, we'll get something a little more, a little different. So I'm going to ban Aspect of Nemesis. I know it's a what? big shocker. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. And it is done. So that gives Dunko two choices for what could be the third race between Eris okay. and Achilles. So I want to give the viewers something awesome if we get there. Now, this could backfire incredibly hard against me, and I'm aware of that. Because Vareem is amazing at this weapon, too. But seeing as it is my best weapon, I'm gonna pick Eris Rail. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. That locks us in. Well, hopefully three races today made the best races win. Why don't you go um, set up your mirrors, and uh, we can get this show on the road. Uh, Druids, one question. Please. If you would kindly stream your OBS to us. Ah, uh, yes, that is a thing. <laughs> You're giving away our trade secrets right now, Wrist, to all the <clears throat> chatters. <laughs> That's how these guys can't tell there. them the secret behind Hermes Cup and how we <laughs> were able to commentate so well at such a pace the secret behind well, how we, we don't have to tell together them. this monstrosity we don't have to tell them about like the sacrificial altars the goats the children <laughs> all that stuff what we... don't tell them <laughs> you don't know oh, never mind what's going what's going on at your Mirrors. house on halloween 
back to the mirror chat folks uh we've got, <laughs> <laughs> we do have a difference of uh fiery presence chosen by Vareem over Dunko's shadow presence this is aspect of poseidon that these guys are running here um but besides that we've got identical mirrors just interested what's the thought process before we start there uh Vareem, why fiery Dunko, why shadow um fiery basically just to enable um the undamaged chaos blessing that's basically it yep um mm -hmm. so i choose shadow because generally there's going to be um two damage sets that you go for in poseidon you have the cast damage set and then you have the um dash attack damage damage set uh because usually casts tend to fall off a little bit somewhere in the elysium range you need to supplement it and uh, Shadow Presence allows me to get a little bit more damage off of my um, dash strikes, allowing me to maybe sometimes clean up Elysium faster. Both uh, very sound thought process going into that. Head on over to the Keepsake Cabinet. <clears throat> Pick up your Aspect of Selection. That is Poseidon. And then Riss. And we'll have you deliver the seed. Oh my god, Jared's remembered this time, Wrist. Are you proud of him? Uh, I am extremely proud of Jared's. Uh, he is growing up to be a large boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, if stop. The, Jared's, no. Oh my if god. the racers are ready for, to uh, receive the, the seed, awesome. Your seed number is... Five nine one nine eight four. Dreads, you have to stop. You're gonna. It's gonna lose impact. It's. Uh, it's going to. It's gonna wear true. thin. You can't tell the same Dreads, joke We twice. need a speech. We need a speech to wow. get these guys going here. Get. Can we get a zoomed in speech from you, Jerds? I don't think I think that's the last thing we need actually. Uh no, if I would, you to differ. Well. The, the only speech we need is a countdown from five. Uh, I am going to be stepping out of the out of the uh, live chat. Please give it to me in text. We'll do. Don't you worry about it, buddy. We got your back. So it sounds like both races are ready. Kareem, are you ready? Yeah. That's fine. From five. Um, wrist in alternating format with Halion. <laughs> Let's go. Halion starts. Five. Go. Five. <laughs> four. Three. Two. One. Zero. That means go. He said the number. Or oh, wait. Big big brain question here. Is zero a number? Uh, that, there's not enough time mind. right now to discuss uh, whether that is or is not a real number or not. Um, what's important <laughs> here is that they have epic cast to start with, baby. Hell very yeah. nice. Very nicely done, Seed Selector Man. I figure I want to give them the, the best chance of putting up the fastest and most interesting time. And uh, while I was, of course, joking just a little bit, uh, in in my intro, uh, what I wasn't lying about was absolutely that this is a much looked forward to race, and I think uh, it would be doing a disservice to anyone watching to not see them at their absolute fastest. So this is the best I could do. I love it. Great selection. There. I'm I'm so proud of you. Yeah. yeah. Great time here. Dunko actually pulling a couple of seconds ahead, entering this room on the left a little bit sooner. They're still on the seed path, same seed path here for the moment, but that's going to change mm -hmm. any second now, probably. Grab into Heaven's Vengeance there, Dunko. Maybe not necessarily looking for too much. Uh, I'm sure both racers were kind of interested in Jolted more than anything there, but neither of them got yeah. it offered even when, with a reroll from Vareem there. Vareem was looking and for it. Spent a few seconds on that menu just looking for it, basically. Uh, the well, he he actually the turned down Jolted. Uh, he, he he turned it down. It was offered, and then he uh, just rolled over it. So what was he looking oh, for? Because there was a lot of <clears throat> menus that didn't call. Well, did Looks like he's playing on picking up the call, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, though, because uh, we'll have to ask him after, but he did sort of bounce off it and then went back to it, which suggests to me that it wasn't his first choice. I don't know. It, it is difficult to say. 
Ravenous Will picked up from Dunko. Kind of an okay pick. Um, uh, you, I think you really want Snowburst if you're going to see a natural Demeter like uh, Dunko did there. Uh, but Ravenous Will, not horrible, I'd say. It's it's kind of like an okay. I guess that's the, the runner-up, unless you just want to grab an attack at this point, maybe. Hmm. Probably not best yeah. not to take the attack. There are so many other good uh, boons from Demeter, as I, as you said. I think uh, Dunko just missed uh, the big brain swap there into Crush Shot. You know, I think we all would have uh, cheered him on if he uh, pulled that feed off. Right, Crush Shot. Mm, could have been an interesting mix-up if it's ever... Is it actually doable? Real talk, Belaz. I think... It's, I mean, it'll, it'll be a time. It's not going to be Electric Shot time, probably. <laughs> Super well, and and the big, th I mean, this is like we can talk briefly. At, oh, and Vareem does manage to hit both both of the bombers yeah, with Meg. Nice. I'm very proud of him. Magic. But it is it is worth noting that the reason why we're using Zeus cast or something else like say Poseidon cast or even Athena cast is that the bounces just have so much natural room clear and mm. the cast travels so fast. There, it's difficult. It's really difficult to compete. Yeah. True. Dunko uh, nodding his head to what Riss said, even though he's not listening to the stream. Some sort of uh, telepathy. Yeah. I'm hearing from chat that zero is in fact an integer, but not a prime number. There is a large debate going on <laughs> that I've created all of a sudden, <laughs> apparently. Important information. So, yeah. you know, maybe not as easy as a question you guys thought. Oh, Vareem turned it down rare crop. That's not going to uh, go well for his luck factor, I'm going to say. Same time, Dunko going to the shop and um, purchased a lot of Ixium, which will pay off later for him. Um, already and more notably, fight. picking up a natural Poseidon from the end shop, which is exactly splashy what he's looking for. Dashy. It's splash and <clears throat> dash in time. And oh, Ooh. Chaos Gate for Vareem, too. Wow, such so similar here. Don't go with a slight lead here, though. Vareem not buying the mystery boon. Wow, not a gambling man, I guess, here. I guess not. No power early for, for Vareem, I guess, saving that coin. Not sure what for. Oh, it is worth noting that uh, none of the racers have gotten free rooms, so Dunko is ahead naturally uh, in this race. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, they'll be walking into a purchase chaos gate each, so <laughs> it'll uh, really cool the, the rooms see. will be will be uh, similar. Yeah, cool, very cool. Like Dunko said, I mean, uh, Dunko's a little bit newer to the scene, especially in comparison to Vareem, who's been around for such a long time now. So I'm sure it's pretty <clears throat> nerve wracking on him to uh, have to come up against him here. We got a 30 second differential at this point. Picking up the additional cast, cast for Dunko. That's that's going to come out juicy. Dunko, it's going to be yeah. pretty nice. He's got a level four cast already, and he's got that splash dash. Ooh. He's got a really nice build going on. Doesn't have a ton of supplemental damage after that. I'm sure he doesn't mind grabbing an attack boon, but at the same time, he's looking really good. Another chaos here and for Dunko, but Vareem also purchasing a lot of Ixium, so he's got two in the stash to claim. Ooh, he doesn't have the health for this chaos gate. Is he going to take the death defiance just to do it? 20% flurry cast. Oh, oh, no, he wasn't paying attention. Run! Ooh. Missed the free one. <laughs> and yeah, Vareem oh. did get that second uh, light of Ixion, but he also sold his call. So he is still planning on picking up the uh, Hades keepsake toward the end um, with that pickup. Dunko losing a death defiance there. Kind of early for that sort of <clears throat> shenanigans. Yeah, He's although it is worth... Very low max health. Yeah, and it's worth noting that the sword is incredibly dangerous to play. Uh, anyone who has played uh, all weapons will know that uh, aside from maybe Achilles' spear, the most deaths you're, you're probably going to see are going to be on Poseidon's sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vareem's got a healthy 135 max health. Dunko's still stuck at 65 down there, halfway through Asphodel. One death defiance down. Never feels good to be in that state. Yeah, and you can usually count on yourself losing at least one death defiance to, to Lerny. So uh, Dunk is feeling the heat, uh, I think. he's uh, he'll, he'll definitely be looking for, uh, for Patty in the shop. And he doesn't even have a surplus of money, so buying a, uh, a death defiance right now is kind of off the yeah. table. Yeah, absolutely. This is going to be tough. Getting stuck on the Barge of Slowness here, the worst mini boss you really want to see. There's not a ton of variation in terms of time usually, but this is like the number one offender when it comes to yep. mini bosses. 
but they do both have the barge, so that variation at the very least is uh, sort of mitigated by uh, shared poor luck. Room before the barge um, was a chaos for Vareem, and he's probably grinding his teeth because cast damage was offered, but at the cost of 46%, I think it was, additional foes. Um, can't and that's do that, yeah. Speed killer. You just can't take it. Just can't do it. That's the number one thing. You'll, the, I think probably the second worst might be like the minus dash distance. It's just brutal. Sometimes you mm -hmm. might end up taking it anyway if the other curses are just going to get you killed. But yeah, I mean, uh, I think he ended up taking Inferno Bombs as his uh, curse effect there, which he probably doesn't want to do either anyway, because uh, like Rist was saying, the sword is just so dangerous here. Yeah, always dashing in. No real way of uh, protecting yourself. You just kind of have to hope to kill things quickly. Oh, Dunko is now getting into uh, into the learning fight. A whole chamber and a half, I guess, ahead of Varun wow. right now. Very keen time, but he's pretty much on half health right now um for this death defiance or well, even less now um max hp of 85 it's going to be tough he's gonna to have to play it a little bit safe and he can afford to and in the meantime we got varim at the top screen dealing with thanatos so there is going to be a time Ooh. differential here for sure the real question right now is is duncan going to lose another death defiance and how is that going to put him into position for the rest of the race <clears throat> we might see some uh safe strats here from Dunko. we'll have to see I mean, at this rate, I might consider it perfectly okay if you wanted to take, like, the acorn or something like that, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. That's um, stomp, I think, damage from Lurney there, just clearing out another DD, but that'll probably be the only one. As Lurney's about to be finished off there, he does have... He does have Zeus's aid there. Very nice clear there. To avoid a hit, but it's okay. It's done. Dream grabbing that epic flurry cast there from this Thanatos room. So while Dunko is way ahead, you know, he's got this glass cannon build going on here. He's going to have to sustain, though, in order to stay, keep this lead. Yes, and even though he has a whole boss ahead, uh, that flurry cast is uh, is a pretty big deal. Uh, it can definitely give you some uh, much needed time. And he and Dunk still, like, is, as I said, as we said, is in danger of both dying and uh, also running into Than. Although he does pick up a chaos gate at the start of Elysium, so. Showing no care for his Lots health. Of chaos he's, here. He's all in, baby. Is he going to pick up the... Oh, I didn't see because the text was too small on my screen what he picked there. Um, in the meantime... might have been dash strike damage. He probably just took the the lesser of the evils kind of thing, if I were to guess. Yeah, probably. Green on 62 health here. He did pick up... Uh, walked back to get the health in the previous shop, so he doesn't want to lose a DD here. I think... Uh... Reem has learned his lessons with the sword here from those first run practices. <laughs> he just wants to get through, I think. <laughs> now, what do you guys think? Is there a meg timing here um, that you can actually hit? So I've been playing a, very casually with it to, to hit, you know, between three to four heads every time. And is that more value than just like hitting it on the on the learning phase? <clears throat> I mean, we don't use uh, meg on learning anymore, pretty much. It's uh, unless you're coming in with just a huge surplus of... Uh, of Megs, there, there's really no reason to, because it's so easy to phase if you have the damage. Yeah, Lerny just doesn't <clears> have that much health, and it's such a big hitbox. It's usually pretty quick either way. Yeah. But so I mean, it's I think it's worth bringing up because I it's a big question that I see a lot. Why why wouldn't it be worth more hitting? You know, hopefully three or four little heads, but I think realistically, you probably only going to hit a couple at best <clears> most of the time. Yeah, I wonder if there is that can be labbed and, and a position can be found to coax the heads to go into the right spot for a three or a four hit yeah uh, the last few runs i've got has always been a three or a four hit so i don't know there might be something to it that's all i'm saying something to explore <clears throat> i agree so the bull of minos going down pretty quick here for dunko showing he's quite progressed through the elicit nice He's already on here comes uh, that meg oh he got the yeah. quick dive away did, did did meg still hit there actually it did. i that's think it awesome. still hit yeah, I think it still hit. Wow, nice job. Very nice. I'm sure yeah, uh, Dunko no. really didn't want to see the Minotaur there too, uh, being on such low health there. It's such a, I mean, compared to the Butterfly Ball, a Butterfly Ball is just so much faster. And it's also so much safer too. You're just there's no way you're taking as much damage in that fight as you are against the Minotaur. The reward he mm, picked yeah, up he's, from the he's really hoping to see Patty. Yeah, a hundred percent. And he did pick up life Ooh. affirmation and epic there too. So. Vreem heard you mention Patty, I think, your risk, because here he goes. There's your boy. He's taking that Hydra light, yep. Hell yeah, into the shop. 
Good move there on the Hydrolite. So, uh, wait, wait, does Vareem have high confidence on? I'm pretty sure he does. And that would be the reason to take Hydrolite over the attack damage, I think. <clears throat> Look at this pro well, damage. The attack damage doesn't Taco. get you too far. He dashed into it's true. The, the chamber was going to end, right? The combat was going to end. Um, dashed in front of the trap to pick up the boon, not s wasting any seconds, and getting that much needed health reward out of this room um, with life affirmation is going to help him a lot. <laughs> yeah, he really needs that right now. Very smart move. Looks like Vri might be able to catch up a little bit here. He's got the butterfly mini boss here, and he was able to grab that patty room to make that go a little bit faster. So much faster than that Minotaur fight, as you can see there. Pretty big. Pretty rolling there. Out of judgment. Really probably looking for billowing strength. Yep. It's a billowing strength party now. It's nice to see the the meta change over the past couple of weeks. You know, there's so much uh, Hades keeps egg, and now billowing strength is such a big deal. And Zeus has really made an appearance in almost every build in some way, between the cast and the special and the attack. It's, it's kind of interesting to see Zeus uh, just kind of come out almost as a top contender, as the god that kind of has everything you want a lot of times. Oh, looking for that um, Death Defiance purchase. Couldn't find a Kiss of yeah. Sticks, unfortunately, in the shop there. Oh. Picking up a boon here instead of going to the shop, interestingly, gets that max life for an additional, I think it was 36 health because of life affirmation, going to the fight with no death defiances. Here is No Dunko. death defiances by Dunko here. He is <sighs> he is playing it dangerously. He's got 91 health to his name, and that's all he's got. He doesn't even have a defensive keepsake here. He's just hoping yep. to get the, through this fight as quick as possible, I think, right now. And he is still playing it dangerously. He's all over these guys right now. He's. I really hope he uses this Hades aid. Not... Yeah, just to save some damage here. It's it's a good move. Wow. It wouldn't charge this full This practice anyway. is paying off for him, that's for sure here. He will clear these well, heroes. The, wow. I, I will say the interesting and sort of double-edged nature of uh, Hades Keepsake is that it is actually more dangerous to use a lot of the time because it resets yep. uh, enemies' attack animations and it causes them to repeat them uh, if you come out of stealth. Uh, well, if you come out of stealth. So... Yeah. Uh, we'll probably see some of that in the Hades fights. Uh, we we already saw it in some of the earlier races where Hades was doing like double spins or weird behavior, which is uh, yep. all explained by the uh, just by the Hades keepsake uses. So it is sort of a reverse acorn where you take more damage to uh, well deal more damage. Speaking of taking, it damage, makes sense, but it hit four times there by Aphrodite five now or so. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. So, I mean, uh, it's kind of strange because the keepsake text makes it seem like it should keep you a little <laughs> bit safer because it turns you invisible, but there's this sort of, like Rist is saying, there's this additional mechanic that we don't know. Looks like Dunko went all in, uh, leaving the mid-biome there. Still zero death defiances on him right now. Got a decent amount of max health to his name, at least at this point. Still not where he really wants to be, I'm sure, though. That's true. He does have 250 in the bank, so he knows he's keeping that. He's waiting for the shop to pop, right? He's looking for one of those purple wells, um, so he can spend on a DD. Um, interestingly, you know, he did keep the sigil instead of swapping out to hey, a fast mini boss room there, by the way, for Dunko. Nicely done. Yep. Yeah. And, and in reality, it's here. the only choice. Sea so Storm picked up. Dunko is just going all in. He's the glass cannon right now. I wonder, he. so I think a big pickup there for him to get through these small rooms faster is actually Breaking Wave. If that was being offered there, I wonder if he would have rather have taken that at this point. Sea Storm, obviously, extremely good, too. But uh, uh, Breaking Wave can actually do a lot of work here. At this point, though, I think he wants his Hades fight to be as fast as possible, to, to have mm. as few opportunities to die. Yeah, uh, that is true. So oh, and he does get the two sacks, so any chance of uh, I, a comeback... I'm almost sad. I'm almost sad Dunk got the two sack here. There's no well of Charon to maybe get a death defiance here. He's head he's heading into that Hades fight. Zero DDs. Well he just and has it's to actually skill gonna be pretty out. close. And the if funny Vareem... thing is he's so far ahead, right, Hallion, that if he just plays it safe, he will win. Absolutely. If he swapped out his keepsake, he probably could have kept this lead pretty safely here. Uh <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if he has any any regrets at this point. But who knows? He. I mean, he, he could still do a great. Uh, he's been practicing so hard. I have full faith that he's going to get through this fight. Absolutely right. Let's just uh, see if uh, any nerves take over here. You know, he's off to a good start here already. Nice. Phasing. Well, this uh, crew of uh, enemies might be a little bit annoying. 
Yeah, you don't want to see these uh, blue crystal beams in this fight that uh, turn Hades invincible. Meanwhile, we have Vareem entering the Hades fight. New, not too far behind Dunko. It's, uh, picking up some time against him here. And Dunko might have to pull out some safe strats in this fight. So that might be the time that Vareem is able to pull ahead a little bit, potentially. Yeah, there is actually a, an opportunity here for Vareem to, to catch up, depending on how slow and safe Dunko plays. He's on 97 health with the boiling blood in him right now. As long as he doesn't yeah, get Yeah, you got to be right careful now, that boiling blood. Yeah, well, it does increase the damage you take. He phases Hades as Vareem... As Hades down to... Oh, look at the damage coming out for Vareem. This actually is a race on our hands here, folks. I'm just so nervous right now for Dunko. I don't... <laughs> Riss, tell me what happens, okay, baby? <laughs> just close your eyes. I, I, I've got you. I've, I'm, I am as uh, interested in the outcome as you. It does not... Oh, but he does have the boiling blood. <laughs> wow, going all in there. Oh, that might be okay, though. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, it looks so like he'll close. have on day two himself here. This oh my god, it's such one. a close race. This is crazy. Vreem at half health on Hades. Quarter left from Dunko here. Oh, and Dunko gets the finish. 17.58. 55 health left, boys. Holy cow. Unbelievable. That was crazy. That has the difference was less than a Thanatos. Seconds. Yeah. Seven seconds later, Vreem finishes. Good lord. Dunko extremely happy. You'd have to be with that performance. And this... This, folks, might have been the closest race we've ever had on the Hermes Cup. Very fitting for a semifinals in these two top-tier races. Awesome. Wow. Really exciting. I think, I think um, Dunko might be starting a new company selling <laughs> uh, antiperspirant because I think he had, he gets all, he, he's got all of our pits drenched right now after watching that. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, Baby, so my has... pits are still dry. <laughs> That's because Riss doesn't drink water. Uh, okay, so let's get Dunko in on the chat. Um, and Dunko. That was the most incredible race we've had on the Hermes Cup to date. Um, thanks for the thrills. Dunko just pulling ahead with a differential of seven seconds. Congratulations, Dunko. But Vareem, how do you think that run went for you? This is pretty damn close. Um, it was sketchy there for a while. So obviously I had that, than uh, that Thanatos that slowed me down a lot. Um, mm. And coming out of Tartarus, I had a boon pool of Zeus, Dionysus, Ares, Demeter. <laughs> uh, and I thought all hope was lost. Yeah. Uh, somehow we managed to pull out a, a decent time, considering. Uh, it sucks to hear that I was so close, because I, I feel like with a little bit better play in some rooms, I probably could have uh, kind of caught up. But, but it was a fun one. It was a really fun run. I think that flurry cast really came in hot for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shoutouts to God's Pride. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm finishing on IGT 10 minutes there, too. Uh, nice and clean. But uh, it's RTA. Real time is where we're at. Vare uh, Dunko. Dunko, uh, with 17 minutes, 58 seconds. Um, how are you feeling? Because you must have been holding your breath for about, I don't know, eight minutes or so of that race. Because you're in <laughs> low death defiances, buddy. All right, um, so I was losing the death defiances early on, and I'm yeah. thinking to myself, what are you doing? <laughs> why, why are you just stepping in? Why are you stepping in front of people? Why are you taking a bunch of damage when you have plus damage chaos boons on and you have like no health? Your health pool, my health pool is like 85 until after the Lerny fight. And I'm like, I have to just, I just have to clean this up or I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and going into I going to Theseus and Asterius with no death defiances, and especially going into the Hades fight with no death defiances, I was <clears> just like, you just you don't get to play sloppy anymore. You just have to play amazing, and if you don't, you're dead or you lose. And I had to just kind of go as hard as I could, and it happened to work out. I mean, I also only got two free rooms minus the mist chaos gate that i didn't have enough health for um but i had only two free rooms in the whole run so the fact that i managed to pull out a 1758 is still pretty good in my in my estimation amazing race nicely done well you had us all on the edge of our seats with that final yeah. 80s fight right because 
Kareem was coming in hot and he had nothing to lose, right? He went in that with three death defiances. You had just a full health bar when it was, I think, 165, 169 hit points there. And uh, yeah, you could actually see where, you know, like he's, he, was, he was blasting out so much damage, he was catching up. Um, and it, yeah, it came down to seven seconds. Seven um, seconds, crazy. Thanks for the hottest race in town, lads. But it ain't over yet. Because as we go into the second race, it's going to be Aspect of Demeter. Aspect of Demeter. Uh, Vareem versus Dunko in the second semi final here. Uh, Dunko up 1 0 in a best of three. Gentlemen, why don't we get you to set up the next race? Aspect of Pray for Athena to appear early. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Yep. <laughs> That's uh, that's about as good an estimation as like as you can uh, give Alien. <laughs> Demina being Vareem's pick in the drafting scenario here, so um, well, I don't Vareem think we've seen a merciful end in a bit anyway. So kind of kind of happy to see him make a little bit of a comeback. Vareem also knows that uh, I'm sure that Demeter fists are cursed for me in the Hermes Cup, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> They're cursed for me as well. I'm hoping both of us can get over the hump today. <laughs> <laughs> we both don't get Merciful End and have to do a race on just raw Demeter Fist with Ares attack. That'll be great. I'm waiting for Vareem to uh, not get an attack and have to go a slicing shot build. Uh, that would be <laughs> amazing. Yes. <clears throat> yes. That is the ult That's like the... That's Vareem's next emote on his uh, stream, actually. Every build turns into a slicing shot build. <laughs> One can only dream. So, um, oh. what mirror selections have we got for you, Dunko, just before we head off? I actually, I, I forgot to change my mirror. <laughs> I actually need to change that. There we go. So, um, so, you might say that you're feeling the adrenaline from that last race. Yes, I very much am. Is it, now, do you is need a obvious? bathroom break? Is what I got to ask. Nope, nope. Uh, pants are clean. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, <laughs> right. So uh, my mirror actually looks exactly like uh, Vareem. So if you can see Vareem's up on screen, that one will uh, that'll give you a good idea um, of what we're taking. Uh, the main thing that's different over a standard sort of build is the Stygian Soul pick, and Stygian Soul is there for uh, two reasons. One, if you get Demeter, it actually synergizes very well with Ravenous Will. And two, uh, if you happen to get, like, Zeus Artemis, you can't get offered Lightning Rod. Okay. So, that's, that's the whole thing. Well, have stand up, take a str Deep breath, take your time, a swig of water, because it's now time to select the starting seed to be delivered to you by Big Brain Wrist 13. Mm hmm. Yeah, wait. Yeah. Are y'all? Your seed number is 381982. Traces have the seed selected. Let's just do a verbal check. Vareem, are you ready? I am ready. My man. And Dunko, are you ready? I am ready. I will be stepping out of the chat. All right, we'll, we'll do a text countdown in line with the verbal countdown. And uh, who wants to give us the countdown from five and on go? <laughs> From five and on go. Wrist is, I mean, Jerds is setting some strict rules now, Wrist. You can't be goofing around with the countdown anymore. Let's see. No, that's not a lot of room. I'll have to think about it more. Uh, Halion, why don't you do the honors? <laughs> well, thank you so much. All right. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Quickly noting here that Dunko is actually running at 40% forced overtime, hoping for those even faster enemy spawns. No delay between these two lads here as they enter the first chamber. Yeah, don't like to squeeze out as much time as he can. Yeah, I guess if you're facing um, multiple world records, you have to. That's a good seed. 
Good seed. They had to roll into a common attack. Hey, I give them an epic cast, and I give them a... It doesn't give you what you want, so you have to roll. I give it an attack. <laughs> We'll say it is nice to see sort of how they handle the same rooms uh, for the first couple run for the, for, the, for the first couple rooms before they actually uh, yeah. diverge from the seed. Yeah, yeah, I'll enjoy that too. The key picked up for each granting a, a reroll of uh, potential boons or shop items, also costing. I guess if you spend that reroll, that costs you know two seconds. And more keys. Chris, more are you cost. okay over there? I'm, I'm hearing a lot of like mouth noises coming from your microphone and it's disturbing me oh yeah sorry i'm just drinking water <laughs> contrary to rumors could you do it better i, I mean i, I can do you, it more Helen? loudly if you'd like but i've got my iced oh. tea right here oh my god what have i oh done? and vareem finding the first athena. The athena. that's what we've been waiting oh. for oh i'm loving Dunk it just trying to do the fade away on that lout uh but not <laughs> making it so it's Ooh. good. Oh no! Uh, that, that, I don't know. Maybe you—you in... you have to take that. Unfortunately, it's, you think you it's, gotta take it's it? too. You absolutely have to take it. And Vareem unable to find the the special on Athena. So blessed and cursed slightly. Uh, yeah, yep. you do have to take that. The expected value is just way too high. You need way too much Athena. Ooh. Oh, so and he the messed it up there. anyway. The race wow. is not knowing. Um, Vareem is set up, here. boys. It's almost always want to be taking a shop room, being faster than an encounter, right? Um, yep. So, but in this case, Dunko actually opting to go for the D Athena Boon reward to increase his chances of getting that merciful end set up. Um, he missed. He missed both. Sorry, excuse me. He missed both of the bombers with Meg. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever done that before, surely. Uh, certainly I, not in my stream. Actually, you have. I think. Not only did you miss both of them, uh, you also died twice in that. Jerds, can you turn like, down uh, Riss microphone yeah, for I'm me for a couple you. hours, Sorry, please? Too much. Uh, but Vreem actually did it. Managed to handle those uh, those bombers much more handily, and he managed to get the random palm on the curse of agony, dude. He is, uh, the, he is the talk of the curse. <laughs> the talk of the curse run, uh, I think, is applying <laughs> to nobody at this point. Uh, they are both getting very much what they want. Although Vreem is being ultra blessed this time. Back of the lounge, oh. Ares and Athena are talking up Vreem so hard right now. <laughs> In the meantime, Dunko is like, Meg, you got anything to say? And she, as soon as she opens her mouth, he's like, shut up, Meg. <laughs> yeah, not a very uh, a good boyfriend, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, disappointing. But what's oh, and fi very interesting to finish it off. Whew. Yeah, he's got the fortunate start here, that's for sure. Yep. Dunko uh, struggling a couple, a couple rooms behind here, but he's still got a pretty good setup. Uh, you still need that merciful end, obviously. Let's see, what does Vareem get here? Oh, oh my God, he's got the Ares. No, no, is he gonna get it? Oh, he didn't roll twice for it. Yeah, wow, nope. that's I think he's, really he's being conservative and safe. Uh, you might as well save your rerolls for when you have extra rarity from from uh, Athena. There's no point in completely breaking your run. That's a uh, true true statement there. Yeah, I know awesome. you're used to being very greedy, Halion, but I mean these are professionals. Me? They do actually know what they're doing, so. Me gamble? You. That doesn't sound yeah. true. Yeah. Oh, Musaeus yeah. actually calling out. <gasps> Hold on, don't go grabbing merciful <laughs> end there. He doesn't have the dash online, but still that could be a big pickup. Yeah, oh, absolutely. right into Thanatos, God. thoroughly punished, oh, final blessed chamber and cursed in Tartarus. so many ways. Oh no. That's true. He's got the chaos room in here as oh. well. So Musaeus is pointing out eye. that Vareem had the extra rarity from the Ares keepsake, actually. So I can still oh, understand that's where true. you wouldn't ro you wouldn't roll there just because <laughs> it was a really nice Tars for Vareem, so he can probably get a sense that he's doing pretty well as it is to kind of like gamble so hard on the final set of rolls there probably wasn't right either way. Nice quick r Thanatos for Dunko at least here. Unfortunately, it is a Thanatos, and uh, Vareem manages to start off his Asphodel with a Chaos Gate. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is not looking here. terribly good for for Dunko, even though they're both no getting. Mystery boon. Hmm. Mm. Weird, weird, interesting. Why? Why is that, guys? Like um... we've seen that happen a couple times this race yeah. already, and honestly, I I don't know. I don't. Yeah. So he avoided the chaos to go into the shop, and then didn't buy the mystery boon from the shop. 
He's got two sixty. Possibly he's saving his money for uh for future for future purchases. Future stocks. Yeah, but mm. I mean I mean how how much is a boon? He's got two sixty four. Probably still could have done it. Still still really nice cleanup there. I think uh actually Dunko has a bit of an edge on the build at the moment, but we're gonna see from Vareem pretty soon if he's gonna get a payoff uh with this Athena here. Yeah, but that edge really is only slight and it's terribly offset by the fact that he is uh a whole couple chambers behind uh Vareem. I mean that so when Thanatos hits Vareem, if he does hit Vareem, is actually gonna be a pretty big player in the pool here. It's really more about where in the zone it actually uh Thanatos actually lands, I think. So we'll Large Dunko... of slowness for Vareem here, too. Might be a little bit of opportunity for Dunko if he gets a better roll on the mini boss in Asphodel. Exactly right. Um, Dunko wanting to catch up about a minute and 10 seconds here. So that that's the first piece there of that catch-up puzzle. The dash has been dash picked up there. from Athena. So he's online. What will Vareem get? Put a reroll here. Oh, no! Oh, oh. not quite! Oh, the bitten acid. Oh, oh no, do right that's Vareem. not good. <laughs> Yeah, Vreem picking up the uh, the Artemis in, in the shop for the cast is high rolling and gambling since uh, it does add mm -hmm, it does add deadly reversal to the pool of dual boons he can get. Uh, yes. and he got unlucky. He did roll a dual boon, but it was not the one he wanted. Yeah, so I will point out that Artemis Boon he picked up in the shop. He could have taken pressure points. It was there. I believe it was three percent. So he could have he could have potentially saved himself there, but who knows what have actually happened. Very fast witch's circle uh, clear wow. for Dunko, actually. Nicely done. Dunko only one chamber behind right now. He's able to pull pull it back a little bit. Those witch, That witch fight was very clean, very fast for him. And now he's got this full merciful end build online, whereas Vareem, unfortunately, facing Thanatos at the very last chamber of Asphodel. Definitely same place, not same time. Hopes for. We're going to have another close race here. Are you guys ready? Oh, this is going to get spicy, boys. Hmm. Pretty fast clear of that room there too from Dunko. Um, that merciful end really paying off dividends. Yeah, and unfortunately, Vareem now really has to hope he finds either Athena or Ares in the shop in the shop for that one chance. Because yep. if he doesn't get merciful end by the time he hits uh, Elysium, it hits, he's going to feel gonna be a bad time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Room finally finishes off that Thanatos room. You can have Just grabbing room. that hyper sprint there. Not bad, not bad. Awaiting. And now that the we're almost tied up, Dunko ever so slightly ahead here, probably like not even ten seconds. There's Athena. Oh come on! Can he roll for Give it, it to him. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. god! The build is so for both tight. players here. Guys, you may breathe again. This is going to be such a tight race. This is going to be so awesome. Both Merciful Ends fully online. Only a few seconds apart here. Here it comes, boys. Thanatos out of the way. He can't stop us. No one is caged. Unbound. So I guess yeah. in terms uh -oh. of build, there's only one sort of key piece, right? Is that Impending Doom? I don't think either player has it yet. There is Impending Doom, although it's worth remembering again that Vareem does have Deadly Reversal, which means that his mm, Doom procs are going to be critting. Uh, yeah. should he get some uh, deflect uptime. It's going to be a big factor in boss fights. Um, so even though he sort of got punished in the short run, it may pay off dividends in the long run. Uh, nice yeah. learning kill from Dunko there. I, I would like to call that maybe Deadly Reversal when you already have Merciful End. It's good, but at, at that point, is it just, you know, is this really, do you need it? You know, you already got, you got all, everything you need already. I'll take it, you know. I'm not going to complain about it, that's for sure. But you got tons of damage with Merciful End as it is. Depends on how you value it, I'd say. Uh, and Vareem is sort of high rolling, and, and it's in one way or another, it's paying off. Until Vareem's in the zone um, with the, the speed of his menu selections. <laughs> you can actually I can tell when into... Vareem's in the zone because his epic gamer uh, control overlay, you can see his joystick rotating mm. uh, counterclockwise. Well, he does that all the time. <laughs> Counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Interesting. It's specifically counterclockwise. You have Activating to Activating left and right brain at the same time. Yeah, That's... well, if you're in Australia, that is actually clockwise. So oh, true. Yeah. It's just a, like, 
Because your yep. toilet's like flush the other direction as well, so just want to keep things not yeah. to confuse our Aussie friends. No, that's a good oh! point, but you didn't take into account that I'm looking at the screen upside down. Plus so... three dashes for Dunko right there. <laughs> that is that is gonna get spice even spicier. I believe Reem picked up some extra dashes too, but I didn't actually see the number. Holy goodness gracious on the Lord. <laughs> Reem, I don't know, just keep yeah. your tie on, Haley. <laughs> yes. Well, hmm, you don't have to. But Vareem also picking up the long, long knuckle. So that's going to do some good work for him in, in terms of reaching and dashing in quickly and stuff like that. Yeah, but Dunk does have Breach and Cross, which is a pretty strong uh, that's a nice hammer one, yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. So much armor, really. That's probably one of the ideal choices. What are the top two hammers here for a Merciful End Demeter Fist build? It's Breach and Cross, right? And <clears throat> what? Yeah, Breach and Cross and Explosive Upper. Um, Still Explosive Upper, you think? I can't believe I even have to explain that. So we're just going to keep going. Colossus <laughs> <Yeah>. knuckle <laughs> oh. picked up for Dunko. Well, Dunk going into an a an Ares room. Oh, Obviously this could be good if he gets doom. impending doom here. He has two rerolls. Not that he needs it, as you can see. I mean, he always he's needs it. For it. He's got to roll for it. He's rolling. He's he rolling again. Just to kill. And takes <sighs> battle rage. Excuse me? Oof. Well, there was nothing else. I mean, you There's didn't see him doom. He, he turned, goes on. He, he turned down Jerz's patented boon, unfortunately, for battle rage there. At that point, he didn't really care because he didn't see impending doom, I'm sure. Yeah. But still, a I really think, you quick know, set of enemies for him here, too. Wow. 15% damage is probably better than your next attack special, which is off the base damage. doesn't even include the, the doom damage, right? So... Looks anyway, like Reem's got fast. his work cut out for him here. I'm, I'm starting to get a little concerned. Dunko's really pulling it off here. Sort he of the underdog in this situation. Vareem was so much under his belt already. Is Vareem going to be? There's the impending doom for Vareem. So nice. <laughs> these guys are just getting all the pieces. Patty, oh, Patty for Dunko. Plays an extra yeah, a good save. way to end off the biome. <laughs> and he's the wow. enemy selection. What's, what could it be? Upper spread? What are you looking for here? Oh, uh, yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Increased attack speed. Why not? At, at this point, it doesn't really matter. He's just looking no. to get out of there. Uh, That's the an amazing shop. time. Mm. Make His both. RTA time is really nice here. And viewers, just have a look at how fast these uh, the, the health bars of these two bosses go down. Look at Atheseus essentially melted away already. <laughs> Minotaur? <laughs> Just like slur oh. slurping. Pardon. This could be. Straw. Yeah. <laughs> Jerds, please. <laughs> this is your stream, Jerds. What are you doing? I'm slurping, baby. <laughs> so Vareem's got a bit of catch up to do here. Wow, I'm, I'm getting concerned for Vareem here. I really wanted to see our first uh, thir third race for a match here. <laughs> Isaiah's, not um, getting much luck uh, out of Elysium, it looks here. I don't think uh, he got he got much of anything here. I don't remember seeing any patty or fountain rooms for him, so not looking great for Vareem at this moment. But there's still a chance. We still got that <laughs> sack RNG on the table. Uh, it doesn't look... I, I don't think he even sack RNG will save Vareem here, even if uh, he gets Wrist the ever the pessimist. Role. Uh, I mean, you just got to be realistic, unfortunately. But it's... I mean, Vareem did have probably the worst version of Elysium you can get, uh, short, of course, of having a Thanatos as well. Grabbing Hunter's Mark. Palming up that Impending Doom. Huge, huge damage plus there. He doesn't really need the damage anymore. He just needs to get to the end now. I'm going dashing all over those high hit point targets. In the meantime, let's watch how fast Vareem, with a very similar build, can clear these two heroes... I'm not sure if I'd be bothered to avoid too many of these Zeus uh, bolts hitting the ground from Theseus. It's all about max damage and fastest as possible. No one's dying in this run, fellas. It's looking pretty yeah. good here. Let's see. Dunko entering his second path in sticks here. Let's see if he's going. Is he going to get that quick sack? That is definitely going to clinch it for him if he's able to. You know, last run, uh, well, last race where Dunko was ahead and entered the Hades fight, I wasn't even watching, but I, 
I didn't think Vareem was, was going to win, right, at the start of that sticks, and then all of a sudden it came within seven seconds. So let's just see how yeah. much he can... He might not be able to do it this time, but how much can he try Ooh. to bring it back, you know? This is a fast no room sack. for Dunko. No sack, but yeah, really quick mini boss for Dunko here. This, uh, I mean, so he's still definitely ahead. He's still definitely ahead. Vareem would have to do a lot of work. He does have that deadly reversal. He does have that impending doom. Could make a, a bit of a difference on the Hades fight here. But he has to he has to get the sack and he has to get it yep. as quick as possible. Even if he does get the two sack, as I said, it's it's it'll it'll be a huge ask for him to win. His his boss damage, I think, is significantly higher than Dunk's, even though Dunk does have the additional three dashes. Uh, but I'm not sure if it is so fast that uh, that it makes that much of a difference. Dunko does get the There's sack. The sack. Fifty five versus Varim's forty three, going into another tunnel. Oh, I think that's going to be it for, for Vareem, boys. Even if he grabs a sack here, he gra he goes for that two-sack mentality, just taking the closest door possible, not even caring what the reward is, it seems. Mm -hmm. Like it. It's looking like Dunko is going to be going to the finals here. Looking good for Dunko. Um, I have to say, you know, I saw a couple of signs of nerves at the start of this second race after that adrenaline pumper for race one, but it looks like he's definitely... Steeled himself. Uh, let's watch how fast Hades goes down. Fortunately, stealthing away. Otherwise, um, he would be tasting the melty kiss. That's the first phase. Reem yeah. not getting the sack on his second path here. So it looks like it just oh. wasn't meant to be. But beautiful performance by Vunk Dunko. Even though that missed Meg uh, did occur there. But we're going to ignore that. Meg. Second missed Meg of this entire race. He has uh, definitely lost out on some of that damage. He's going to have to watch uh, one of the upcoming uh, Meg timing guides. <laughs> <It's come laughs> that, uh... It's going to be a 85-minute explanation from Wrist on how to land Meg on one fight. <laughs> uh, as much as I would love to do that, um, that's actually uh, going to fall under uh, Satan is a chill guy's jo job. He's been working on Ooh. that, so we can look forward to that after... Uh, Sometime. Great to see content, yeah. um, not just from, you know, like a couple of, of folks, but sort of, you know, like a lot of runners getting in and contributing. Um, if you are interested in speedrunning guides, just check out, you know, Hades on speedrun.com and go to the guide section. It's that easy. You also join us on Discord and there's people to ch talk to and links and all sorts of things. Vareem finally getting that um, satire sack. And um, it kind of too little too late, I guess, because wow. Dunko has won the semifinal Dunko for is this done. Race. Well done. Tanko is done. <laughs> done. <-co. laughs> and he, like look at dinner. the shock in his face, seeing Vareem still entering into the Hades fight here. I think he's just shocked. Dunko. Like how far how far ahead he got it. Huge yeah. congrats to Dunko. Great show. Amazing Absolutely. performance by him today. So, so really so awesome. An amazing show by Vareem too. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I've been exactly in Dunk's position. Uh, when I raced uh, Vareem in the last cup, uh, I had a similar feeling when I learned that I had somehow beaten uh, Vareem. And uh, it looks like... dream. Mm-hmm. And it does look like uh, Merciful End will continue to be cursed <laughs> for Vareem from, from this point on. <laughs> Hopefully he's learned his lesson. Uh, it's especially appropriate since this is, of course, the spookiest time of year, so curses are very much in fashion. That's true. I know I'll nope. be buying some pumpkins. I'm going to carve in some... I'm going to carve in a... Did you guys see on Reddit? I want to do this too. I'm going to carve in an Aries symbol. Put that on Ooh. the front porch. That, that'll that be kind of spooky. Uh, uh, we should definitely uh, do Riss, a... What are you going to dress face. as? What? Riss, what are you going to dress as for Halloween? <laughs> um, I think I will dress as um, someone who is uh usually very relaxed but you know quietly intelligent and um always uh, never mind always you, you don't you don't need a costume really you're fine as you uh, are yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine um you, scary I'm, enough i'm not a character you can cosplay anyway and vareem has finished off uh the race there which actually leads us to a 2-0 uh, victory to dunko congratulations to both races and uh you can see dunko is still heavy breathing after that adrenaline pumping run we'll get you guys both into the chat and uh yeah again congratulations for some quality runs and entertainment here really hot races Vareem, how do you think that one went for you 
Uh, well, it started out all right, and then it kind of petered off. <laughs> uh, considering the start, it took a lot longer to find Merciful End than it probably should have. Uh, I had like four chances at it where I didn't see it, uh, which sucked. But I, I did get it at the end of Asphodel, so it wasn't like the worst ever. Uh, really, again, another, it was like Chamber 22 Thanatos sucked. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It was, and then of course I got the uh, the three sack because I I went for the two sack mentality because I knew it was behind. Getting punished by deadly reversal probably felt a little bad as well. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you never skip Artemis there, right? Um, like it sucks that it happened, but the upside of finding deadly reversal later in the run is so high that uh, I'd make that choice again. Mm -hmm. so I, I mean, it paid off for you uh, by the end there, so we can't really say that it was a mistake at this point. Absolutely, and as we go into the stats here, we can see that um, kind of similar around, you know, like um, it was a two and three sack for both races um, consecutively. Uh, similar chaos rooms, no fountain rooms at all this semi final, interestingly. Really quick Hades fights by Vareem, geez. Yeah, they're really showing. Going that extra power, damage, uh, especially in that second race, must have paid off for him there. Very interesting. I see we don't have on these stats. There's no no Boldy gifted. Oh, good point. Well, hold on. Was point? there a gift made to? There was. The sacrifice has been made. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. See, my phone didn't ring, so I wasn't worried about it. <laughs> it was a Boldy gift. I'm hearing from production. We got confirmation, folks. I mean, not that we didn't <laughs> trust you, Varim. <laughs> <laughs> So well done, uh, Dunko. Waiting patiently, taking deep breaths. Has your heart uh, slowed down? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, folks. <laughs> Probably won't for an hour or two. Um, He's well done. Yeah. What do you uh, think? I mean, uh, did you know how far you were ahead? Um, nope. Were you watching the stream? I don't. I don't watch the stream. I completely zone in on what I'm doing. So I, I have Discord open on the right, just so that if you have anything you need to do on, like, if you have any sort of, you know, race update you need to tell me, I have that available. But I, I don't, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't, I don't keep the, the, the stream open. But I do open the stream as soon as the, uh, as soon as I, I uh, hit split. So that I can on the Hades fight, so that I can go and see how uh, how it how I did, and I'm gonna be real with you. I was very surprised after that Tartarus split that I managed to to win here, because yeah, uh, because <laughs> like legitimately. Oh, I think Jerds is talking to. Uh, uh, Jerds is speaking to production. <laughs> Yeah, George he's is, talking to he's himself. To he does this right sometimes. Now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But like, so I I got a chamber twelve Thanatos, chamber twelve Thanatos after I skipped mid shop to get an Athena. Yep. And yeah, that was even brutal. though I I managed to get the merciful end in uh, Tartarus, like the big risk that I had to take because I know that I Vareem took the the two sack mentality risk. The big risk that I had to take was I went for Hades keepsake, just praying that I'd get an Athena to get the dash. Um, because I knew with that with that split, I needed the bonus damage to try and make up time. So I then got rewarded by getting the the Athena dash first room of uh, of Asphodel and ended up being able to put put on some some blistering, you know, saving 40 seconds or more on every single um split up until up until sticks so like that was that was the the play that i needed to make to be able to to do that yeah so i went i went asphodel dad keepsake and it paid off <laughs> so yeah, and the plus three dashes and i think it was elysium right oh, oh yeah the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once I got plus three dashes in Elysium, the one thing I didn't end up getting over the course of the run was Impending Doom. Impending so Doom, the plus yep. three dashes yeah, tried really, really hard, had, yeah. yeah, the plus three dashes really had to make up for the lack of damage from Impending Doom. Um, because I had to just do, you know, the the job in five dashes, what could have been done in four, or could have been done in two or three if I had impending doom. Um 
but it, it did help with crossing rooms really fast too. I didn't get a Hermes, I think, until yeah, I didn't get a Hermes until at Elysium. So um, I had no mobility boons until specifically that five that plus three dashes. So. <sighs> Oh my god. Um I never <laughs> thought that I would beat Vareem. I quite honestly uh I I'm just like I was kind of overcome <laughs> when I saw that I had. So um yeah, I'm I'm really happy that I I made it this far. Nice job, man. You did great. I yeah, never thought show. I'd beat Vareem either and uh, and I never did. So <laughs> <laughs> cool story, Halion. <laughs> Tell more. <laughs> I I assure you so much practice will be done. I'm hearing a lot of uh, hear hearing a lot of requests from chat here, guys. They want to see this Eris run happen. I don't know how Dunko and uh, Vareem feel. No, no pressure, guys. But uh, um, yes, you have to do it. I'm down if you are. Basically, Vareem, I'm leaving this up to you. I'm down if you are. Uh... And again, no pressure at all. It's it's worth noting <laughs> that this is the second time Vareem has been pressured into a third raise. Yeah, correct. Constantly. Sure, I can play a little bit of Eris Rail. Fine. Yeah, uh, right. We oh, got yeah. a third match. <laughs> Bonus meme. Can't help but notice a trend at the top end here. It might have something to do with Eris Rail. Don't say those words, Jerds. We know you tried to kill Merciful End. We know what happened. <laughs> Jerds is still muted, by the way, guys. To the stream. Oh, thanks. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my my mistake. I didn't click a button. So here we have the top the top runs for the Hermes Cup two so far, not including today's races. Uh, apologies for that. We'll work on that next time. But we, as we can see, we got a lot of errors at the top. Um, and what I love, I'm loving here is we got a mix of races too. You know, it's it really goes to show that anyone can perform at the top. Um, Bablo, Vareem, Dunko, Bablo, JDN, Wrist, Halion. Halion, why are you up there? That's from the show match. Bablo and Fartikus. Um... I think I had to take three bathroom breaks on the the bot for my bottom time there. So maybe you could just crop that bottom time out for me, actually, Jerds. <laughs> um, so you want me to do something like this? Yeah, there uh, a little more. There we go. Yeah, okay. wrist. I can't believe you're on the bottom, man. Shame. <laughs> Great shame. Him. That's where I use. That's the place where I usually spend my time. So. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> So, Vareem, real talk, um, do, you, do you actually want to do the show match because you're more than welcome to go to sleep? That's all right. I'll, uh, he already said yes. Don't talk him out I'll, of it. I'm giving him a second <laughs> I'll chance. Play, I'll play a little bit of Aeris Rail. All right. Well, we're, we're back in, fellas. We're back into the race. Back to the screens. We're on sc you're on camera. I, already, I, I thought we were done, so I already took my, my half of my clothes off here. I'm not going to say which articles, but... I thought you said you were going to take your tie off before, Hallian. Are we taking our ties off? Are we getting? Is this a cash, a biz, a biz cash it's, it's a stream now, Jerts? I'm five steps ahead of you. I don't. I don't have a tie. So, <laughs> you're dunk. We're going fo two, right? Uh, oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? This is this is basically any. Per this is going to be any heat strats. <sighs> We're all in, baby. Yep. Nice. All in. I fully expect people to take Hazard Bomb if they see it, so... No, maybe not that all in. <laughs> I, th I think we may be at like 99 out of 100, but that's 100 out of 100. Come on, Hazzy Bomb. I need to have... You know we want to see it. Can you get Big Triple chunks. Bomb on Hazard Bomb? 
we've already been bullied into doing a, a last race. We're not going to get bullied into hazard bomb, okay? Maybe if we say it hard enough, Rist. Rist, can you make all three options at the start hazard bomb, please? Uh, I cannot. Um, okay. Do we want to set up a seat, or just do we just want to go? Oh, no, seat it up. Just give them a nice seat, I'd race. say. Okay, yeah. Again, um, pick a number. Give us epic yeah. Zeus attack. <laughs> well, the the correct number then, of course, is four two zero. Four two zero. That's not what I expected. <laughs> All right. This is going to be a good seed, and if it isn't, I blame you, Rist. These numbers look <laughs> familiar, but I don't know where. The weed number, and I think no, that's a sex number, right? It's oh, definitely no, a number. I'm too innocent. Yeah. I thought that was one three three. Never mind. Uh, I'm just gonna play the Wrist, game. Wrist has been hanging out at too many inappropriate streams. He's not used to these uh, these kind, family friendly streams here. Obviously. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Well, we got a show match here. Dunker versus Vareem. Um, running aspect of Eris. I'm not sure. Did you guys change your mirrors up how you want them? Yeah, we got, we got them how we want them. All right. Well, uh, I'm still gonna pop out because I just don't. I, d I can't focus with you guys talking. Yeah, but, no, uh, that's fine. Wow, you're just, wow. Gonna try hard on the wow. Jeez, no banter. Dumb. I just can't focus. Eh, whatever. <laughs> All right, the Eris showcase is about to begin. Slam Dunko versus the Speed Dream Vareem. If you on the Hermes Cup semifinals show match, Alien, why don't you count down this race? Okay. And don't want the no complexity. Just count it down, boys. What's that? And Nunk wants the, the text countdown, right? Yeah, I'm doing it. All right, Riz, let's do this in unison, shall we? From five. Perfect. We can okay. definitely do this, right? This is very doable. Hell yeah. Let's All right. do it. In five. Five. Four. Four. That's not unison. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. I decided to come One. back. Go. Zero. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> Oh, God, we're going. Do you know what unison means? I'm counting it down. It was yeah. just a slow countdown. You guys screwed yeah, Dunko you just, up. You're super slow, Haley, and I don't know what you're doing. What? Are you, what? <laughs> you're uh, like, you did like the most right, old man of pace of, of countdowns. You confused me. Like You kept going like a full second after I was counting. I think that's the Discord delay, unfortunately. There's, no, I don't think it is. Um, it's either that or your old man brain trying to remember which number comes before five, four, three, two, one, zero. So, what? That's what words did you just say? <laughs> you heard me. I said Quattro. five, four, three, two, one, zero. Quattro. Quattro. I guess you could say I'm all for this race right now. Wrist. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> you could, but don't. <laughs> Oh, I'm all for 20 this race. Oh. Also, oh. don't bat. Yeah. <laughs> Dunko's right, back. Dunko, was that targeting system? Did I, I miss that? Hammer yet? Oh, okay. That's that must have been Reem. Is Reem still I in the Reem channel? Picked... Yeah, Reem's. Uh, he's muted. He's 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 gaming. He's gaming. Okay, I think he got targeting game. system. Then we got Dunko got grabbing a rocket bomb there. there. Both very strong hammers here. Yep. Uh, we have had some uh, question as to why uh, the sack, uh, the random sack from Charon is always being avoided. Um, seems to be a very con fairly consistent strat to dodge it. Is it just because you guys don't think about it, or is it like... Yeah, yeah, I mean, it really is one of those things where it's like, it's pretty negligible on pace uh, one way or another, but it, we, we're really not sure whether or not the, the, the loyalty card is worth the, uh, you know... Oh no, fight. not 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 the loyalty. Sorry, the the random set, like the random boon. I I wasn't talking about oh, yeah, the random right. boon. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I can actually talk a little bit to this. Uh, yeah. So the thing about the mystery sack is that unless your boon pool is full, you have no idea what you're going to get out of it. And the problem, like once your boon pool is full, uh, which if somebody wants to explain the boon pool, they can. I don't really think I have the brain for that at the moment. Um, yeah. But once your boon pool is full, uh, you're able to basically take the mystery sack without fear because you'll always get something that you at least like deterministically, you know what you're going to get. 
but until then like you just it's just a random god that could do nothing for your pool or actually mess it up and give you you know boons you don't want Mm. over time and for for those who don't know what we mean by a boon pool um the way the game decides to offer you gods is randomized um you won't know what sort of god you're going to get uh, unless you have a keepsake of course until you've filled out your boon pool uh, that boon pool can be filled with four gods once you have four gods you'll always be offered a selection of those four gods but until uh, you have all four of them you will uh you'll still get a random selection so you will kind of want to get four gods as fast as possible but you also want to make sure that the gods you want are in that pool now yeah. i'm Excluding actually hearing about yeah. this a, a few people have asked actually if you see let's say aries on a door and you purposely avoid him he's he's not necessarily in the god pool yet right no no he's, okay. he's, he's not in the pool unless you take him um if okay. you sell them then they still remain in your pool however so Gotcha. You can't sort of purge a god from your pool, unfortunately, which would be a neat little strategy to be able to utilize, but uh, the game does not work like that, uh, probably for good reason. That's why you often see these guys, like, you'll see a god in a shop, but it's not a god that really is going to make their build better, so they just don't buy it, even though in the normal run, really any boon is going to help you. But this is just the kind of area where you really got to min-max it as much as you can and just increase your odds of seeing... Uh, the gods that you want to see as much as possible. Yeah, and, yeah, and when you think about a build, like especially like a build like Eris Rail, we end up having like uh, uh, from specifically Zeus and Poseidon, we have a pretty exhaustive number list of boons that we actually want. And so, like, you're pretty much never gonna run out of boons to take from these two from these mm. two guys. You want to try and get them as much as possible. Agreed. Definitely. With Eris Rail here, there's just so much Zeus and Poseidon that you want in this run. It's just, it never really ends, it feels. So you just want to avoid almost everyone else if possible. Someone's asking, if you force a fifth god with a keepsake, do they get added to the pool? I, I yeah. assume yes, but I actually yes. don't know the answer to this question. It, they do, yeah. Okay. They do, which actually dilutes your boon pool, which is a bit unfortunate in some cases. Sometimes mm. you will accidentally fill your boon pool pretty early on, and in those cases, sometimes it is correct to take the the fifth god if you really need a particular god in your build. But mm. oftentimes, if you just accidentally fill your boon pool, like in most speed runs, you just kind of reset. Yep. You're like, oh yep. well, that's that's the end of this run. Oh boy. Yep. Don't go grabbing uh, Sea Storm there. Both runners do have Splash Dash from Poseidon, one of the key components here. And then uh, Sea Storm just accompanies it so well there. Uh, Vareen grabbing the shop here. Don't go just a little bit ahead, of, about one one chamber here. They both got very similar builds going on. Vareen's got a very nice Athena special there. I believe that's epic. That's nice. There he goes, grabs that Sea Storm into the mini boss chamber here. Looking pretty good for both runners at this point. Very, very close. I, I do want to talk briefly about the insane pace that we're seeing, both leaving Tartarus uh, with a sub four. Uh, That's really good. Yeah, Dunk, I think the number says uh, like 332, which is yep. a crazy time. Like anything sub four out of Tartarus is, uh, is pretty much, is pretty desirable. You know, it's fine. <laughs> It's good enough. It's not a world record pace or anything, but... <laughs> no, but it's fine. It's all right. I think uh, Dunko's in-game time was something like a 2.12 leaving Tartarus, which is actually mm. borderline world record pace for in-game time, but we're not really and, going for that here. And Vreem's was uh, 2.17, so they're very similar. Dunko probably looking for these extra dashes from Hermes here. Gets one. Good enough. That's what we say. Did Ver was Vreem event did it Vreem eventually just decide to take Unshakable Metal because he got sick of seeing it? You think? Uh, you probably want to rip it out of the pool just so you don't see it anymore. <laughs> uh, if there's nothing better, he was probably looking for Breaking Wave or something like that, but obviously not. Uh, I believe he it. has Hyper Sprint too, so he could be going for those rush delivery strats now. I mean, you always are, right? I mean, I kind of just learned about this today. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit slow on the, the catch up here. Okay, what can I say? How, how have you been grinding 
uh, the any heat uh, world record and not known about uh, hyper delivery. Well, I mean, I was aware. No, I'm aware that it exists, but it wasn't something I was intentionally going for. You could say. Mm. Yeah, if there was hyper sprint offered by those dashes, I still would have taken the dashes. But if like I get a, a rush delivery. Settle. Yeah, but if I get a hyper sprint at some point, like during the run, I'm going to roll for rush delivery like that. That stuff is insane. One thing that I have uh, struggled with uh, just as a player is having Rocket Bomb with Splash Dash. I find that very often I will knock enemies away from me uh, before I can hit myself with my rocket. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing that I've noticed is that the, the like, uh, whoops, I leveled up the wrong thing, uh, is that the window is actually pretty large, like the area that you can get in. I've actually been like a pretty like three or four zag distances away from the rocket and still gotten the buff before, depending on like dashes. So it's uh, it's pretty lenient, which has been kind of what helps me out. Eh, stop. That's fair. I don't usually uh, <clears throat> I don't have. I think quite as many hours in Eris as you do, so. Fair. Few people do. Pretty much the only people to do are like Babylon. Delta. And Rome, so. Yes. It's a Delta chamber run, guys. I knew it. Top Hello. tier yeah. hammer upgrade here, guys. It sounds like Jerds is over there eating lunch. Not eating no lunch. He's just, just leaning back. <laughs> just chilling. In Watching the, the outback. He's taking it easy now. Watching the game, boys. Ooh, that was incorrect. I'm making some sus decisions right here, but, you know. What was Vareem's first hammer? Was that the targeting system? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Hitting for 420. What you guys have been saying. Poseidon damage. Nice, Vareem. All right, so I'm not big into not triple bomb working. with the, this build personally. It's just kind of takes too much to get out uh, compared to what you should be doing, I feel. If you had Delta Chamber with it and you didn't have to take your finger to reload or the time, I guess, to reload, maybe it's maybe. better. Maybe. Does that work? God, I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, you can literally <laughs> just hold uh, hold the attack button down and then just hit spe or spam special if you want to. I have to get like four fingers over on that side of the controller. Well, that's the weird thing about Eris Rail. So one of the one of the ways, or rather, the way you play Eris Rail normally is, um, you know, you you shoot your gun like normal, uh, but during the downtime when you have to reload because you only have twelve shots, uh, that's when you that's your cue to sort of fire off your special. So yep. lacking Delta Chamber can actually <laughs> it can actually be a detriment to to folks who are used to having that sort of window open for them, and in some ways can kind of count as a DPS loss, depending on who you are. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Vorpal in chat asking, how are Elysium Trials now? Are they still faster than normal chambers? So yeah, there was a long period of time, maybe not a long period, a couple of weeks, uh, where Elysium Trials could be incredibly fast. Uh, just because witches, if you see armored witches in Elysium, for some reason they are worth a very high difficulty rating, which is what determines how long a room is, how many enemies you get, etc. Unshakable metal showing up again for Vareen there. Um, so, so can we yeah, talk so about this get, crazy pace? Yeah, so uh, he'd get, you know, you could get four armored witcher, witches at a trial in Elysium. That'd be the whole encounter, basically, sometimes. It's just crazy. And look at the crazy pace these guys are at. Dunko entering sticks under 12 minutes here. Vareen practically at the same point. Pretty good. All right, so here's the question. Do I do any heat two sack strats, or do I, like, actually do the consistent thing? And a, a two sack you, mentality, Dunko. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. He's had a well, gold split Elysium. Don't ruin it. Wait, no. Uh, that, would, that would have the most no, potential that would mean, to ruin it. 
<laughs> that that actually has the potential to ruin nope. it. So I... no, no, oh, you no, you're not understanding. You gamble every it, chance you get. Ellen, I think I think your your see, cost see? benefit analysis wires are crossed. Your anti two sack mentality has punished you with the vermin, Dunko. Look yeah, my build has gone down. So, you know. Oh, that's a fast yeah, rocket fight. bomb and delta chamber. <laughs> really, Whoops. really strong. Yeah. Rocket Delta. Don't tell SG. I've been I've been forced to take Seeking Fire a few times today, and I'd I wish I could say it's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. It's it's a non-factor. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, when Flurry Fire comes up, like it can be and it can be okay, but like Seeking Fire is just never good. Nuclear Kron asks, why is Delta Chamber so good with this? Uh, Delta Chamber, we used to make fun of it a lot because it used to be pretty bad. When uh, 1.0 got released, they didn't really state the change, I don't think, but there was a slight change to how it works with dashes. So the text reads that Delta Chamber means you never have to reload again, uh, but the gun shoots in three round bursts instead now. Uh, so uh, the 1.0 change, basically that three round burst gets reset uh, for every dash you make. So suddenly you're just doing three round bursts con constantly. Oh, wait, no. Pablo's telling me I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with what Pablo <laughs> says. Hey, Pablo's okay, actually have to step in here. He oh, he's still here. <laughs> yeah, come on in. Right, tell Bablo, us the truth. Tell I mean, tell like, us. come on. Delta Chamber does nothing, in my opinion. Like, I've been, I even oh, tried it with um, Pablo, like, get three out of extra here. dashes. Put him back. It's amazing. I don't care what you say. Mm. No. I love God. it. It's, it's one of those things where you just think it's amazing because it feels good but it actually doesn't do anything extra for you i'm not i'm not saying it's uh... <laughs> well i thought you meant like i was standing what are you saying? but i'm pretty sure no so i'm pretty sure when you get <laughs> the delta chamber the three round burst gets reset and you get to shoot off the three round burst more quickly than if you just stand still and hold down the attack button basically i don't think that's true though i tried it i i thought it would be pretty good if if it actually does that but i don't think it does i feel like it does can no, anyone back actually might feel like Chris, it does, where are you right you now tested it? well halion i mean this is sort of what i was talking about when it comes to like so it's sometimes considered like a, a a damage loss i don't know if Bablo would cite the same reasons that i did but that was like uh, back in the day though i mean can we not agree that it definitely is different after 1.0 that was three yeah, seconds off of my RTA world record, by the way. Oh damn! Look at that time. Wow. <laughs> my nice. art, my the current RTA world record is fifteen oh six by me. Oh yeah, that's so. a very fast time. <laughs> nice one too. Usually, I consider through. like fifteen thirty a very, very, very fast time, but yeah. Yep. Uh, I will say though, LMNOP has been uh, working on slash has finished a DPS mod uh, where we can actually see the DPS I'm, in real time. So we can I'm, actually test the uh, viability. I'm him uh, right now. You have his phone number? No. So I've usually but... said that um, it's neutral in terms of damage. What about um, lost time from reloading? Um, it's still neutral because you have to special some time. Yeah, and the other thing is, honestly, late game, your damage isn't really coming from your attacks. Your damage yep. is usually coming from your dashes and sea storm and your special and all the other stuff that you're throwing out. So the attack is really there to just sort of get you through the day and to activate the sea storm and whatnot. So it still does damage, but it's not so important that you have to keep 100% uptime on it. And as Bablo said, you have to fire after special sometime. So you might as well use the reload time to... I and mean, that time is forfeit anyway. Yeah, but you don't have to do a reload when you got the Delta Chamber at all to do a special. You can literally just right-click the special and continue to no, fire. No, but, but the, point is, the, point is, the point is when you throw out the special, you're not shooting anyway. So you might as well be reloading during that time. So... Um, Pablo has me on this, right? This I'm, I'm talking sense. <laughs> it still has to be tested. That's what I show. think. It but... still has to be yeah. tested. Okay, so that that is a fair statement. I do feel like having uh, gone through Delta Chamber. So right before 1.0 dropped, I I made a stupid build with Delta Chamber to point out how bad it was, and then right after 1.0 dropped, is like this is incredibly different. 
So I feel like it's different. I'm not saying that it's so much that, uh, you know, we should be taking it constantly, but <laughs> I definitely tested enough to say that it's not my, it's not, Babel will be happy to hear it's no longer my top pick <laughs> when doing Eris Rail, but I will okay. say I'm not displeased to see it. Alien, is this the case yes. of where you actually tested it before with something non Ares build? Like a Zag uh, aspect, and then you went with the okay, 75% so Ares. I can't increase actually damage. remember that much, uh, to be honest. But I remember, so it was more about just how does it feel, and it felt really bad before uh, with just the attack rate, basically. Yeah. Just the thing that uh, sometimes some builds feel very good, but you don't actually know where the damage is coming from. So that could also be the case. I'm still on the case that I, I still think that um, it's pretty much neutral in terms of damage. And there's a bunch of hammers that actually increase your damage. So that's why I'm no, not a fan of I'm, Delta Chamber. I'm, I'm going to be on the hunt to prove you wrong. That's all. It's going to live on forever, at least in my dreams. I already submitted the question at least to, in Ello's, your dreams. <laughs> to Ello's spreadsheet. <laughs> the other consideration is that the fact that it's a burst means that if you're killing off a... I mean, this is a really low consideration, but we're really picking at straws here. You're bursting down single enemies faster if they were to die within yeah. that three bullet shot. So I think that that's what, what I consider when taking it because... It's a huge DPS loss over something like rocket bomb or targeting system on single target for sure. But for clearing rooms, it, it, uh, it's been consistently feeling better, at least for me. I'll say it's better for movement because you kind of get to uh -huh. walk in between. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. I, <laughs> I, I got my foot in the door with Bablo. That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> well, it's great that it come, definitely comes down to player preference as well. Um, some people like the feel, some don't, you know. Anyway, we had a race. It, yeah, and... another news. A race a race just occurred, guys. Oh, hey, Marie. <laughs> Hello. It's it the same we... times, by the way. Dude, Nuclear crime made me start an argument about Delta Chamber. Uh, 50, 15 minutes, 40, 43 seconds, real time, Vareem. What do you say? That's crazy for both guys. Honestly, considering the run, I am shocked that that was that fast. Um, I got no free rooms in Elysium. I got Barge of Death. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with it. I'll take it. In the meantime, Dunko with 15 minutes and nine seconds real time voice. Hold on. That was hot even for me. Mm. Yeah, well, there's your showcase. Um, that's the power of Eris. Any miracles are you here? <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks guys oh, for wait, staying wait, on for too. an extra race, even though you didn't have to. Um, any yeah, shout-outs you want to give, uh, Dunko? And uh, what, are you be, what are you going to be doing in the future? Some more streams? More streams! I mean, I'm probably going back to the streaming three days a week thing um, that I was doing before. Because <laughs> I, streamed, I streamed some extra days leading up to the Hermes <laughs> Cup. But uh, I don't know, because I'm practicing or something. Who knows? Um, but uh, I'll be going back to streaming three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, I'm probably going to be trying to push all weapons a little bit lower. I may do a little bit of any heat. I've gotten most of my success in any heat by not grinding it, by instead just like playing random <laughs> runs at the end of streams. And like, taking Delta two... Chamber. <laughs> I'm not going to commit to that statement. <laughs> but um, I, I got some uh i got my 658 and a like and the rta world record just by playing one eris run at the end of a stream two days in a row so like i'm probably gonna I'll, I'll probably try and replicate some of that success a little bit um but pushing all weapons lower and i've been having a nice first run kick vareem got me on Hell first yeah. run and now <laughs> i've been trying to actually win a first run i haven't quite and quite gotten there yet because Good lord, that category is hard, but I'll uh, I'll probably be playing Ooh. some of that. It's hard, but it's fun, and it's intense. I don't know, Halion. Would you rather do fifty heat than first run? I I would. I'd rather do fifty heat. Yeah, I think I'd rather do fifty heat for ten days yeah. straight than do first run. It just looks and the so cowards miserable. are revealing themselves live <laughs> it looks on stream. So miserable. 
you, da- you dash and, and then you swing. You speak. can't even do a dash attack. You have to just like swing your sword or something weird. Oh no! It feels restrictive. That's that's. You do a it first run, fun. and then you go. It back looks to hard. Mm. My big problem with fifty heat personally is that um, I'm I'm a monkey and I like to go in hard and do nothing else. And fifty heat punishes me for doing that, and uh, that that makes me. Makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> yeah, you'll get to do that for two seconds. Yeah. yeah, you get to do that for two seconds, and then you instantly die, which is, uh, you know, a great play pattern that I yeah, definitely I'm failing here for, for sure. Fifty heat all the way. Hell yes, mm-hmm. more fifty heat, guys. We need more. We I need might more. try my hand at fifty heat, but yes. uh, I think I have to win. A, I have to win a first run first. No Babylo, I got a chaos shield fifty heat win, by the way. Yeah, I know. Congrats yeah. on that. That's nice. Oh, when are you going to beat that? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to compete in an actual, actual racing format? <laughs> Vareem, uh, where can when folks see you? Are you going to be streaming hey, pretty much every day? What's your plan? Yeah, uh, I've been streaming pretty regularly. I don't have a schedule, but, uh, you know, the old twitch.tv slash Vareem. Um, I do speed runs of Hades, obviously. Uh, I've been doing first run a lot recently. I think that's my plan for what I want to tackle next. I want to get first run and fresh file in general under 23 minutes. I think it's pretty easily doable. I just have to put the time in. Mm. Uh, so, Jerds, to... when are we going to get fresh file on the leaderboards? Wait, we have three leaderboard mods here, actually. When are we going to get hang fresh on, file? No, you uh, first mean, Sorry, first run on the well, leaderboards. Uh, well, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a little difficult to... I, we don't really want to tackle it right now. Uh, there's a lot uh, to weigh there. The category has to get a little more popular first before we decide. But first yeah. run is like the fastest fresh file strat at the moment, so it seems a little bizarre to split the leaderboards. But we'll we'll figure it out. It yeah, depends on right. if people want it to actually be split or not. Um, it, it's a good. It's kind of in a good spot having it that way, right, Varim? We we're kind of having a chat about this already. In that, if you can complete the more probably more difficult method of a first run, then you're rewarded with a faster time. But the category as it stands still allows you to do deaths, take back the darkness, make for an easier run, but it costs you time. So it means there's kind of like a progression you could do. You could start, you know, with with the death um, method and then go to a first run and progress from there. I kind of like that. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, there is the the one downside to not splitting them is, you know, there's some people who aren't interested in the generic, uh, generic like fresh file as a thing and they just want to do first run. Mm-hmm. And if they take it really slow and carefully and they end up below a bunch of people who, you know, took some intentional deaths, they might be upset. But we don't have any of those people yet. So for now, yeah. it stands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, exactly. Anyway, as for as for what I plan on doing, so besides first run, obviously, um, we've learned a lot since the last time I ran all weapons seriously. So like everyone else, I want to push that time even lower. I, I'm curious if we can somehow crack that like 145 barrier. I think that would be really cool. Um, really difficult, though. Uh, and then for non Hades stuff, I'm wrapping up a playthrough of Hollow Knight, and I don't know what I'm gonna do after that, but I'm gonna do some non Hades stuff too. So you're gonna that's you gotta point. kill Nightmare Grim, right? Um, if that's a thing, I do. I don't know any of the okay. DLC stuff. It's a really hard. I have met loss, him basically. <laughs> I have met Grim. Uh, I uh, I just yeah, I just beat Radiance game for you. I just beat Radiance last night. Okay, that's good. That's a good start. All right, folks. Well, I might just bring up the brackets here. So now that we have um, we have the race, the semifinals races sorted out today. Bablo does go through to the finals, and uh, Dunko does as well. You will be seeing both of these races um, come through into the finals, uh, which is on next fortnight. Um, so that'll be the first and second, and third and fourth. They'll be fighting for the money. Hundred dollars US dollars. <clears throat> First prize, second is 50, third is 25. Set it right. Um, and yeah, we're going to basically have another Fortnite of hot races. It's going to be sick. Uh, Halion, good sir. As we close out for today, is there uh, anything you wanted to say? In uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming. Anyone who stick, stuck around even after the races are over here, of course. I want to give a huge thanks to Jerds. Twinkle Toes for putting this whole event on. Wrist for your awful commentary. 
and the racers, of course, for a great performance. Got him. Chris, now's your time to retort. Um, yeah, just beat my right, all weapons it? time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got him. Oh, nothing else to say. Uh, you can catch me at uh, www.twitch.television uh, no. forward slash wrist 13. I do shit. <laughs> I, nice. thought, I thought it was wrist A 13, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, one three is lead speak for <laughs> IE, so it's wristy. -E. That's what I thought. Lead speak? Wristy IE. Wristy IE. No. All right, and with that, folks, thanks for joining us. We're going to raid somebody. Uh, I know uh, Element of Peace doing a Mythbusters stream right now. Is that something we mm -hmm. should we should raid or could raid? Dude, he knew when to start uh, streaming, didn't he? Hey, special thanks to uh, Twinkle Toes for helping with production today. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. You got you got any messages for the people before we get out of here? Um, streamers, please don't put your live split over your in-game time when you finish. <laughs> <laughs> got them. <laughs> And with that, we're going to prepare for raid. So hold on the line, and we're going to raid LMNOP. If you're inter interested in some Mythbusters, Elo, he does a lot of... Um, <laughs> we love you, Twinkle Toes. He does a lot of contribution to the community. Very supportive. You can ask him any questions. He helped... Well, he made the Hades Racing mod that we use here for the Hermes Cup, which is great. He's made other mods as well. The Starting Moon Selector. He's working on that DPS one. I'm keen to use that when that's officially launched, if it's not already. Um, so go say hi. Um, when you say, please, when we raid him, what are we going to, what, what can we say when we raid him? Give him, the, give him the, give him the Hermes Jerds treatment here. With give the, him a Jerds or Hermes, but there was something the funny wings. I wanted to say. Oh, that's right, call him Elaine Mop. When you go in there, call him Elaine Mop. I'll tell, type it right now. What is that? Elaine Wait, Mop. What a, Elaine Mop? Do one of these ones, guys. And you'll get him. Hey, X Pyrite gifting tier one subs at five. Is that five? He did five. Three. Three. Three? Right, five emotes shared. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Very kind. That's eight for the whole stream, Jerds. I know. Mm. I, I'm not really a, a sub strong Poor stream. Her. I need to put up some uh, um, notifications just to respect the people doing that. So thanks for that. Very kind. Good to see the support. All those funds will go into the next Hermes Cup. We're looking to open up the Hermes Cup um, for, for uh, entrance for the next one, by the way. Um, first round will be uh, off. Well, it won't be streamed on here, but um, you will need to stream to be able to compete. So if you are interested, set up your streams and um, keep an eye out on the Reddit. You can message me on Discord. Go to hash 1677. Um, and we'll talk more about that um, on Reddit and at the next... Homies Cup. Next Homies Cup is the finals. See you on a fortnight. It's Friday the 7th of November. Same time, 7 p.m. EST. Thanks for joining us, everybody. And good night. Good night.